Welcome everybody to Coffee Talk. Coffee Talk. <laughs> coffee Talk is a coffee brewing and heart to heart talking simulator about listening to fantasy inspired modern people's problems and helping them by serving up a warm drink or two. Coffee Talk has been out for a few years now and it um has really good reviews. A lot of people love Coffee Talk. I've never played Coffee Talk myself. This is the first time I've ever played Coffee Talk. Um, there is a sequel coming out to Coffee Talk here in the next couple of days, I believe. Uh, episode 2 is right around the corner. Uh, this is developed and published by Toj Productions. Um, if you remember Toj Productions, they're the same people that brought us. We played it, I think it was earlier this year, maybe. I can't remember if it was earlier this year or late last year. But they're the same developers as the um, as a space for the unbound. Remember that game? You remember that game? A space for the unbound. It's the same people. So yeah, I think we're gonna be in 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 for a treat here for sure. But yeah, Hibiscus is coming out in the next day or two. I can't remember the actual day. Uh, so if it goes well in Coffee Talk today, uh, maybe we'll play the sequel to it as well, episode two, uh, this week. We'll have to see how today. Uh, today's stream goes so if you want to see coffee talk and you want to see the sequel make sure you hit the like button and all that that tells me you want to see it and if you want to see it you know if you're watching this in the vod hit the like button comment down below all that good stuff uh, you can pick up coffee talk for yourself for 12.99 usd if you enjoy what you should see here but i believe this game is also on um game pass so if you have game pass you could probably play this game as well i'm pretty sure it's on game pass at least the last time i uh <laughs> i checked it was on game pass but yeah Anyways, this is Coffee Talk. Let me just say a quick hello to everybody in chat here. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome into Coffee Talk. How you doing, Lady Fluffy Dragon? How you doing, Auntie Meow? What's going on, Susie? Hey, Malachi. Good to see you. Hey, Sarah Dippity. Hello, Mary. What's going on, Mary? How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, Norm. How you doing, Norm? Yeah, Lauren. Lauren says, happy Monday, everyone. And says, re-up on the membership. Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate that, Lauren. Good to see you. Thank you, Lauren. Hey, Shantae. Hey, Yellow. Hey, John. Hey, Asuna. What's going on? Good to see you. Welcome in. Good to be here. Good to be here. Yeah. How you doing, Mel? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jules. How you doing, Jules? Hey, Shelby. How you doing? This this game is so cute. Oh, very good. So some people have definitely played this game or have seen this game before. This will be the first time I'm going into it. So I'm very excited about it. Indeed. Hey, Penguin. How you doing, Penguin? Good to see you. Cheers, everybody. Hey, Angel's Curse. How you doing, Angel's Curse? What's going on? Okay. English. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's get it going. A Space for the Unbound. Remember when we played that game? That game was good. I liked A Space for the, uh, uh, for the Unbound. So I expect Coffee Talk to be, uh, you know, if not maybe as good or maybe even better. You never know, right? This game was made before A Space for the Unbound, but... Here we go, Coffee Talk. New profile, hit me up. Let's do it. What's your name? Obviously, not that. That's not how you spell that correctly. There you go. <laughs> Cans. Is Cans correct? Absolutely, it is correct, baby. So welcome, Cans. Change barista? No. Endless mode. Play. Extras and options. There's mods for this game? Oh, interesting. Mod. Let's just take a look at the options real quick before we dive in here. If the music is too loud or anything like that, just let me know and I'll like, if there's anything I need to do, just definitely let me know and I, I will, uh, I will, uh, do all that for you. I think we're ready to go. Hey, Adriana. How you doing, Adriana? Hey, Nautica Davis. What's going on? I use to play this game on my Switch. Oh, very good. Hey, Alexander. How you doing, Alexander? Hey, Natalie. How you doing, Natalie? Okay. A little bit loud on the music. Let me go ahead and do this. Would it be background music? Yeah, I guess so. Well, you know what? Let's just do a little bit of everything. How about that? I think that's good. Maybe? Probably, right? Probably. <laughs> if not, I'll do some more adjusting. Oh, dude. All right. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. What about that? Is that good? That sounds better? Hey, Ruth. How you doing, Ruth? Heather says, how ironic. I'm drinking Starbucks espresso right now. Let's go. Let's play the game. Welcome to Coffee Talk. 
Seattle, 2020. Oh, crap. We're already off to a bad start. <laughs> A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place in time where anything can happen. Very well. Very well. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. Yes, fantasy inspired modern day problems. Just to re up on that, just so people understand here. When the dwarves uh, have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. This aged interesting, interestingly, I know, right? Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. Hey, Norm, how you doing, Norm? In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. The greatest coffee shop of all time. Tim Hortons. Never been. Can't say that. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Here we go. <laughs> Tuesday, September 22nd of 2020. I think most of us were probably all locked down during this time, even still then. If not, being super cautious. Now, what I'm going to do real quick. Oh, my God. How are you? Hello. Welcome. Oh, it's you. It's Freya. Hey, Cans. Uh, how's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. What, what happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry, though. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So, I'm used to taking things slow. <laughs> Writer's block again? You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Order up. Ah, pardon the interruption. Uh, the machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. All right, here we go. Anyway, let's see here. Triple, uh, triple shot espresso. Base. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> Step one. Don't F it up. Base? Okay. Um, yeah, how do you make that, uh, uh yeah? <laughs> that, that triple, that triple espresso? Okay, there's an espresso right there. I guess just triple it. Blacker than moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Okay. Um, coffee. 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 Did I do it? Hopefully I did. Espresso. Serve it or trash it. Now this is an espresso. Maybe not a triple espresso. Um, who knows? Serve it. One cup of triple shot espresso. I guess that is a triple shot. Because there's three copy hits in there. Special for my only customer tonight. Hmm. That aroma. Ooh. Can I turn the music down? Yeah, I'll turn the music down a little bit. Yeah. Ah, exactly what I need. Very well. Alright, just time out real quick. Let me just turn down the music a little bit more. We'll turn down everything else a little bit more, too. Yeah. 
Tech speed. Let's actually turn that up a little bit faster, too. There we go. We'll go fast on the speed. How's that? Is that good? Yeah. All right. Resume. Uh, I'll get to you in a moment, Mr. iPad or iPhone. Anyway, where were we? Yeah, uh, you're planning to do something, right? Oh, yes, that, yeah. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know, but it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Well, yes, it sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job, in case things go wary. Hmm. <laughs> she, she likes that, yeah. Uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right, though. You said something I should have thought about myself, actually. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yeah. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Was it the coffee table book? Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So how did they react? Well, thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division. What the heck? And get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. Okay, there we go. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Well, that sucks. But at least you got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Again, don't look at me like that. Very well. How far along are you? Uh, <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. Uh, may I see it then? Um, well, it was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. Hmm. So, zero, huh? Well, yeah. I really need to finish it in. At most, two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan, I guess. If you can pull it off, of course. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of the best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of a service for you. Oh, it looks like someone's coming in. Oh, well, hello, you, he hello to you. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Look at the animations, though. It looks so good. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood, of course. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather, yeah? That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Anything with chocolate in it, please. Okay, so we should have a recipe for that, right? What is it? Chocolate, chocolate? Dark chocolate? Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Okay, we can do that. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> Very well. Uh, before I continue here, let me see here. What is this? What is this? Freya Storyteller. Georgie, Seattle Police Department. Gala. Seems like some other people. What else do we have? What was that called? That was called the Toma... Tomo da Chill? Tomo da Chill? Music Shuffle? The Evening Whispers? Uh, all right, all right. All right, brew it up. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Let's do it. She's lucky to be in a coffee shop in 2020. Facts. Serve it. One cup of chocolatey goodness. So warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend, you say? Yeah, he should be here soon. Look at look at you now. You went from empty to th you went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded, considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that's still open past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. Yeah, what she said, I guess. Well, then why? 
I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Yeah, it is actually kind of fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? Well, that's a secret, of course. Cans here is damn rich. That's the secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating, of course. Don't worry about it. Cans can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon, so you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up! Don't tell her! Wow, that's interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories as well. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories, yeah? Well, thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all of them. That's so cool. Then are you here to write a new piece, yeah? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Oh, is that her boyfriend? Hey! Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Mm, surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order, that's why. Do you have any preferences, sir? Let's see. Something bitter to keep me awake. With milk, um, draw some latte art on top. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Something to keep you awake, right? With some milk in it. So a cappuccino, coffee and milk, or a latte? Coffee and latte. I guess ca a cappuccino. Let's do a cappuccino. Shall we? And then do we have to draw on it? Latte art. Ooh. Pour milk, etch, invert, serve. I'm so sorry, sir. I I apologize. Here you go. <laughs> Hi, here's your order. <laughs> this is uh, is this what you call latte art? That's eh, cute. Nah, yeah, I do it. I don't know. I'm sorry. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Bailey's. Bailey's. I was having a nice chat with them. Well, yeah, I haven't uh, properly introduced myself. Uh, I'm Bailey's. It's interesting that you have that plural, no? Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Well, hi, I'm Freya. And nice to meet the both, both of you. I'm Cans. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Uh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and an illustrator. You know, this only seems appropriate. Hang on a sec. I've done some uh, characters and in info infographics for the paper as well. I assure you we're in contact with Steve. Yep, he's a nice guy to work with, of course. Oh, really? No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. But no matter how deep you go, there always there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lots of drunks or criminals. Lost drunks or criminals. Uh, that sounds really bad. Uh, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists, yeah? Not as good as your coffee making skill, though. Well, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is, I'm going to start writing. Oh, so I'll leave you too. In the hands of your friendly neighborhood barista. 
Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. No, you're friendly neighborhood barista, of course. Where are you going to write? Uh, oh, not far. Just over at the table in the corner. Next to the windows, of course. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun, then. <laughs> I'll try. Oh, she's dozing off there. Well, good luck. Thanks. There's an open seat next to me, if anybody... Okay. All right. Well, now, now, now it's done for. <laughs> Should we move to the other seats? Nah. Here's good. Okay, then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal earlier so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is, but today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. Uh, you know these memes, or those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all of them. I could go on forever complaining about her, but th that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. How about that? And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? <laughs> that might be worth it. You should ask Cads here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh, yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying uh, customers? The ones you don't need your fist to take care of. I do have my own methods, but it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers, now would it? And that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Oh, her phone. Look at her phone, dude. Matches. Hey, Systematic. How you doing, Systematic? What's going on? Hey, John. Thank you for the re-up on the membership, John. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. Is she going to answer her phone? Your parents? Yes. Uh-oh. So, you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No, it didn't. What did they say? A lot. Her parents. They won't give us a chance at all, would they? Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place right now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume? Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Bubbling about how elves are holy creatures. About how... About our immortality. About how even if I outlive you... What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf? That's already been uh, tainted by a lowly succ succubus. 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 Thank you. That's exactly what they said. So this is it then, right? The end of our relationship? It does have to be. It doesn't have to be. You know, our families will never agree, right? We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been, without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the, for the rest of the eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to uh, sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for the both of us. Do you feel happy when uh, when you're with me, yeah? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other, right? You don't need you don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait. Oh, she's gone. Hey, Floatery B, how you doing? Hey, Moni Lou, you need to get this game? If you have Game Pass, I think you can get it. But yeah, it's on Steam as well. And I think on the Switch also. I think it's on console as well. I don't know. It might be on everything. <laughs> Thinking about it. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's all right. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope your uh, yours will have a happy ending. I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? 
You like green tea lattes, yeah? Green tea lattes, I'll take one. Yeah, sure. All right, let's see how we make a green tea latte. Green tea, milk, milk, baby. All right. Green tea, milk, milk. Brew. There we go. Does he deserve an art? Yeah. I give you a heart. <laughs> Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with, you know? You can if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now. And probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. Interesting. Cool. I'm liking it so far, yeah. Do you have anything to write about that there, Freya? You were listening from the corner, yeah? Well, yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up early than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close up shop after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay. You have a good night then. You too. I guess day one in the books. Yeah. <laughs> Black lemon, a perfect, if unlikely, combination of sour and bitter. So I guess we learned uh, a new recipe there of black lemon. Yeah. Hey, Amber, how you doing? Good to see you. Happy to see you streaming a cozy game right now. Oh, that's good. Yeah, nice little cozy game, right? Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. By the way, thank you, Zoe, for re-upping your membership as well. Big shout out to you, Zoe. Hope you're doing well yet. Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. I guess we're kind of there. <laughs> I guess we're kind of there. Is that Freya? It is Freya. Good evening. Well, good gracious. What is wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry, but I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay. Just tell me. What are you going to write about now? This coffee shop. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come in. Are you for real? Well, yes. What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. It's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know? Relax. I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knife Walker novel versus movie level loosely based. The old one? Of course, I'm talking about the old one. That's already very different, you know? You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although, you can just ban me from coming here. Okay, well then, in that case, you're banned. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Now would I? Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway. I'm really excited to see who's gonna come in tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. Hey, McSqueeze. McSqueeze says, three months. So glad to be part of this awesome community. Thank you for showing me such a good time. I appreciate that, McSqueeze. Thank you for that. I really, really do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well, yeah? Hmm. Good evening, y'all. This is Georgie. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Pop? 
Seems like uh, you're in high spirits this evening. Maybe that's just a way of greeting somebody. And please, Kans, no need to be that formal with me. <laughs> We're both on duty here. Hence the formalities, of course. You are as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight, uh, so I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today, yeah? Not everything, but more than yesterday, of course. Except for tea. I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness? Yeah, you got that right. Make sure not to use milk, though. Okay, got it. Yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks to your Tomo, Tomo de Chill profile. Everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyway, a couple sweet, healthy coffee, please. Okay, so that's a really cool uh, feature. So you go into the Tomo de Chill. I guess you can click on Georgie. You can figure out his birthday is June 1st. Or friends only, close friends only. I guess, what, I guess maybe like a Facebook or something rather, right? Anyways, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please, with no milk. Uh, so what would be a good uh, hit with that? Coffee, sweet, no milk. Uh, we're looking at... An espresso? Right? Might be looking at an espresso? Didn't we unlock a new one? No. Undiscovered? Maybe an espresso? He said sweet, though. What do I have here? I have honey. Can I actually use that? No. Okay, so... Maybe I gotta make something myself. So what if I did, like... Coffee? Oh... Ginger or honey? I think that's what it is. Is that ginger? Ginger? Okay. Coffee? Honey. Brew. Coffee, coffee, honey. Honey coffee? Coffee with honey for the man on duty, yeah? Not everyone can manage this uh, combination as well as you. Thank you. All right, well, there we go. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Uh, provide me with serve like service like you gave, <laughs> gave the old pop here. What are you having? You still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. The, old, the one and only espresso. Got you. Triple espresso coming right up, baby. Good stuff. A starless night sky for the green-haired fairy. I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. This is perfect, by the way. So how's everything going on and going on at the paper, Miss uh, Freya? As usual, awful. She's making a risky deal with her boss, actually. Yeah, pretty much. What is that? Wait, why do I have to, like, bring up that? That's not none of my business. That's not for me to share. Anyways, what kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal, actually. A very dangerous one at that, too. Okay, a deal she regretted? Uh, not that much. Uh, folks, seriously, what's... Care to share the details properly, please? You tell him, all right? She's secretly using her working hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. Hmm. You got balls. I can tell you that. She does. Gee, thank you. <laughs> How's the leap of faith going so far, though? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any uh, safe haystacks to fall into. Well, good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least, not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes things up this time, though. Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Kan said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet, but my novel is going to be published by our parent company anyway. So technically, I'm still working for the company. She'll be really pissed off if she finds out, though. Wait, is stealing time a crime? Technically, I might have to arrest you, of course. <laughs> you do it all the time, though. Those are just coffee breaks, of course. Sometimes they might take longer than they're meant to, but still coffee breaks you're making me feel worse by saying that you should feel bad stop adding salt to the wound okay it's just a fact I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not but if your writing career goes up in flames the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours Jesus Christ just don't mention that you like to do other things uh, during working hours of course I want to say thanks but I feel like I should be offended 
I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Oh, good. Uh, what will it be about? A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. You're letting her do that? There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write about any shady looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they should inside the coffee shop near their post. Ah, I will definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a good comedic character, of course. Was that a compliment or are you making fun of me? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, uh, what do you have against me tonight? Kansas is probably worried about losing customers due to the breach of privacy. Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names. And I'll dramatize uh, most things I've heard, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing, the stories I've heard, they only be the inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone uh, stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? No, actually. Come on! Nope. No, 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 and nope. You helped me once with the, one of the stories I wrote of the, for the paper. The one about this secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me other interesting tips, of course. I helped you more than once, actually. What, really? Now it's my turn to say, come on. Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The one who's always playing the, his guitar. Always got a rose with him, right? Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is, uh... Well, I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper, right? I got his blessing before giving it to the editors, of course. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rose has become some kind of prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot topics? <laughs> or any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Oh, tell me, tell me. But lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. <laughs> She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is, but she's she has bright green hair. Oh, come on. I was so excited to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, uh, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having mood uh, swings because of the pressure. <coughs> You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories, of course. By the way, why this coffee shop? Because I've spent a lot of time here, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday, and, well, what about them? They were going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional form countless times before. But it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are there regulars? Are they regulars here? Well, no. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her coworkers or clients, helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed off about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Hmm, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit, right? Can't promise you that, of course. Okay, then see you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. Whew. Hey, El... 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 Alif... 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 How you doing, Alif? What's going on? What's going on? I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing, of course. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water for you. Oh, you're the best. You're welcome. Oh, okay. Off to the world of imagination I go. We'll go on. Here we go. Burger night. Oh, that sounds good. <sighs> that should do for the experiment. 
Someone's coming in. Holy crap. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. I can't. Uh, can we sit here? Sure thing. Mr. Gala? Hmm. This is the place you recommended? You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to in LA. But. Gala. It's fine. Mm. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, do you want to order anything? Yes. Uh, what do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. Okay, so coffee, coffee, ginger. Brew it up, baby. That's how you like it? Let's do it. The Jahi Tubrook. The J Jahi Tubrook? What the frick? There you go, sir. Your order is ready. Thank you. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay, I'll have whatever he's having. Very well. Brew it up. Don't confuse ginger and garlic. <laughs> a werewolf and a vampire. Is that what this is? Yeah, a werewolf and a vampire. I guess. Oh, you're right, huh? Here's your order. Hmm, good choice. Anyways, uh, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few days, though. Yeah, things change a lot in just 20 years, right? Even this coffee shop. I believe this was a bar back then. Uh, when did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, mister. Hyde. My name is Hyde. From what I gathered, you're from LA, right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other for a long time, I assume? You could say that. Yeah, I think we met not so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. <laughs> not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about the 1860s or the 1960s? <laughs> no, we met in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards, but not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time? This was the place, wasn't it? Where we first met. Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved, yeah? They went bankrupt. Ah, such a pity. Uh-huh. You're happy the bar closed down. What's with the smile, if you don't mind? Nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repeat itself? I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened, actually. You've got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Well, thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work, yeah? Kinda. With the news about the newfound virus going viral, <laughs> the hospitals have been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that. Uh, but most people who come in are just... Well, I don't want to use this word, but they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital, yeah? What was it called? Admission officer. Ah, yes. And I'm still a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. To each their own, I guess. Anyway, I was wondering, do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore, they can just order through that blood marketplace app. Are you talking about Bloodlast? Uh-huh. Bloodlast get their supply from their hospital. They can't certify blood on their own, but only hospitals in the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen, uh, with a lot of sales promos, of course. 
You use it often? Not really. I'm trying to I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know the founder of the startup. Oh yeah? How's your vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. Excuse me for asking, but going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Synthetic blood? It'd be too complicated to explain, but basically some scientists are working on uh, to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind. Without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? No, more or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive though? It is. I can afford it though. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone, of course. Would synthetic blood taste good? If mixed with other ingredients? Why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks? Might attract new customers, of course. And churn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although, some do try experimenting with other things. Other things? Mostly booze. But I know some mix it with not-so-legal substances. <laughs> you know a lot, don't you? I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly furry. You found a less painful method to restrain yourself, yeah? Not yet. But I do know that it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine, of course. Is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be the remedy. Why don't you use the furry sedative available on the market? I don't trust them, of course. Besides, the sedative is too general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down, of course. And that's all I need, to be honest. At least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to do uh, kinky stuff to soothe themselves during their furry. What kind of kinky? Like BDSM? You know, that only happens in porn, of course. Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching and that kind of thing, you know? Hey, a friend told me about it, alright? Well, he was pulling your leg, of course. Well, damn. I mean, having sex as a calming method is pretty common. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal doing bondage stuff during the furry. Exactly. So, continuing with your story, though. How far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far, all I know is it involves ginger. And probably something uh, lightly uh, caffeinated, of course. Like tea, maybe. You better write that down, of course. You won't want him wreaking havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today. But the next time you're visiting... Maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. I'm sorry, I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. All right, thank you for the drink, of course. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So, I'll see you around. Thank you for coming in and take care on your way home. Hey, Missy Harrison. How you doing, Missy Harrison? Hey, Goddess. How you doing? Hello from Oregon. Been waiting to play this game. Oh, very good. Very good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, Deline. How you doing, Deline? Hey, Sergeant Cat. Hey, are you done with your writing for tonight? Kinda. Those two guys. Uh, it kind of reminds me of this video I saw online. I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Hey, Happy Bee. How you doing, Happy Bee? Oh, that video. What? What video do you think I was talking about? You know, never mind. You. I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. Anyway, it was a pretty interesting and productive night. But now I need to get some sleep, of course. Yes, uh, please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume, yeah? 
Oh, don't you worry. I will be here tomorrow. Night night. Be careful on your way back. There we go. Day two in the books. Hey! Green tea latte. Both sweet and savory with a hint of bitterness for the heart. Thursday, September 24th of 2020. Free of charge, despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Vlogging is now part of the uh, curriculum. Cur curriculum, sorry, curriculum. Now part of the curriculum at some private high schools. <laughs> Stop workplace racial profiling. The Orcish Workers Union of Demands. So that's cool. Vlogging is now part of a curriculum at high schools. Could you imagine that in real life? My goodness. Whoa. You are definitely a football fan. Welcome. Yo. A cup of honey milk, please. Right away. So would you be like a Se Seattle Seahawks fan, yeah? I'm sorry, what was your order? <laughs> Oh no, did anybody, did anybody catch that? I kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm blanking all of a sudden. What did she just order? Sorry, what was that? One more time, please. <laughs> honey milk? Okay, thank you. Honey milk. Okay. Um, milk? Milk? Honey? My God. <laughs> it just went in and then went out the other end. Your honey milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that Freya? It is. Hey, Ken. Seems like uh, there's a cat. Oh, look at him. Oh, my God. She got in with me. Relax. It's okay. Hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? Want some milk? Oh. Oh! <laughs> Spicy cat lady. Hi, barista. Yes, I'd love some milk. Holy! You look like you've just seen a ghost. Oh, I mean, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude or anything. It's been a while since the last time I saw a... Ne Nico... Ne oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. Is it a Nekomimi? Nekomimi? Transforming? We rarely do that in public, you know. I guess you don't have that many Nekomimi's friends. Is that did I pronounce that correctly? I won't say I have. You folks usually use your feline form to commute. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, of course. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical. Then commuting as a hum I mean, then commuting as a uh, bipedal form. Kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? Give the lady milk! Jesus, I'm sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff? No, milk and nothing else. Give her milk, my lord. Brew the milk. She needs the milk. The cat's so cute. Serve it. Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Yeah, dude. Thank you. Are you hitting on the on an underage girl? Uh, I hope not. I was just giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. I I did not know. It's really good. You're welcome. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> What's a young girl like you doing alone in this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown up who can take care of herself. That's exactly what a young girl would say. Uh, you don't look like a grown-up. What? I'm 18. All right, well, technically it's there, I guess. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd call uh, too young. <laughs> well, I'm not an old lady like you for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old, so I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. Uh, I don't. Oh my, are you uh? Just say it. 
if this is something illegal or if you are in danger, blink twice. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you've never seen me on TV or social media? I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. Hmm. Part of the broke but woke movement, I see, yeah? You must be the broke part. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What, too broke for a cup of coffee, yeah? <laughs> She's not that great for business, no? Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder, could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Is this some kind of made cafe experiment or something? So, what do you want to order? The usual, of course. Triple espresso coming up. Hey, Travis. Thank you, Travis, for the appreciate it. For the six months, I do appreciate it, Travis. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome. Welcome, and thank you for the re-up on that. How you doing, Travis? Your espresso's ready. The music in this game is good, too. The art style, is, I love it. It's good as usual. Glad you liked it. Wait, uh, wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Florencia? The member of Super Smiles who just graduated? And started her solo career? Yep. I'm Rachel. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk. I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit, though. To drink milk, no less. <laughs> achievement unlocked. I actually did get an achievement in Steam, too, so that was hilarious. Good job, devs. No, seriously. Why are you here? Well, you know. The usual young folk problem, I guess. I had a fight with my father, and so here I am. Ah, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you uh, to be out alone this late? You don't need to worry about me. I could turn into a cat. Oh, that's that's true, huh? <laughs> now I'm really worried. Anyway, what, what happened? My dad, uh, we got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are her thoughts on your career choice? I'm gonna assume that she's not around anymore. She passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. Is that her dad? <laughs> no, that's Officer Georgie. Yay, hey, good evening, Georgie. Good evening, yeah, how you doing? Good evening, uh, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Freya. <laughs> Anyway, Kans. Yes, officer. I need something for my sore throat. Uh, can you get a brother? Can you get a brother a cup of tea with lemon and honey? Yeah. Tea, lemon, honey. Serve it. Gotcha, dude. Hey, butter me up. How you doing, butter me up? What's going on? Have a good one, mixed squeeze. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Your order is ready. Hmm. This doesn't even look close to what I ordered. But it is. No, it was. Pardon the mistake. Never mind. How's your day going? Did I mess up? Did I mess up? I thought he ordered honey. He ordered tea, honey, and lemon. No? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my ship today. Oh, was it green tea? Tell me, tell me. You sure you want to hear? Yes. The scary thing I witnessed was... My salary. Seriously? 
Yeah, today is payday, and I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that, uh, in the labor union protest, everything is fine, though. Yeah. How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Hey. Uh-oh. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, well, thank you for coming. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. I, I didn't catch your name. Who the hell was that? She just sat there and read. I'm sure that's pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that here when you're writing. I guess you're right. Anyway, w where were we? Oh, yeah, right. Uh, what are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go. And this place looked cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar. But you're underage, right? How did you know? You can read minds now, old man, yeah? I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here, but everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He is a cop! That is exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course. This is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? <laughs> oh. Hey, Franz, how you doing, Franz? What? Don't look at me that way. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes and public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You should know. You are a father yourself. Oh, right. Guys, you know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya, she has a good hearing. That should help her protect herself. Anyway, Miss, um, Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I told the others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fight a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Really? Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them, and they learn something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, any arguments make things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. He wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No, before my mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Mm, nothing really. We just don't talk about it until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy. But you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone even your own blood but it was never this bad when mom was around she's the only one who understood me and she also understood your father oh yeah but maybe he and your mom also had arguments but your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you that's possible of course now that mom's gone i don't have anyone to act as my guardian and your dad he lost his best negotiator Wait a second. You said uh, this has happened a lot, right? But why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait, maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. Using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved uh, problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I kinda understand what you're going through there, Rachel. I can also run away when I, or I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run even farther. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that. But why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say I'm an adult. Facts, dude. 
then just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel, and try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now, now I would recommend just to go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride, but you don't need to talk to your you don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. Sure, where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Nico Town. Oh, that's uh, quite far. You're still going to drive me home, right? Old man? Of course I will, yeah. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. It's raining every single day here, if you haven't noticed. Okay, well, we'll be off then. Thank you, Kans and Freya. Take care of your way home. Uh, on your way home. See you around. Wow. That's, that's a nice little conversation. I like that, yeah. That was pretty good. And there they went. Yes. You can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing going, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though, of course. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up, though. Why did you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Uh, who knows? Maybe she'll understand. Yeah, you're right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. Not exactly employee of the month, you know. You never know, though. You never know. I might end up on the chopping block, too. Oh, the pressure. <laughs> I'm sure about one thing, though. Uh, this coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'd probably be back tomorrow. And the door is always open for you, Freya. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay, then. Take care. Be careful on your way home. Hey, Natalie. How you doing, Natalie? Hey, Ebony. Ebony, Ebony, right? Ebony? Is that Ebony, yeah? I always have trouble with that name. There's a few other people that have the same name, but they want me to call them Vaughn. So I don't know if you want me to, you know, I don't know <laughs> which way to call. Some people want to be called certain things and things like that, but how you doing? Yvonne, Yvonne, okay, there we go. Yvonne, how about that? Yvonne, there you go. How you doing, Yvonne? Yvonne? Is that what it is? Yvonne? Yvonne? Yvonne, maybe? September 25th, 2020. Yvonne. Yvonne? The Orkish Workers Union in talks with the government over their pleas. Rap group Street Orchestra questioned over the pro-ecoterrorism lyrics. Werewolf activists imprisoned for owning illegal furry sedative. Oh my god. Good evening, Mr. Hyde. He's gonna talk about his friend being arrested, yeah? Evening. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Gala is coming, after his shift. Hmm, it's pretty empty here. You're our first customer tonight. <laughs> oh, uh, is there something wrong? No, nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say our, when obviously there's only you here. Oh, I, I guess it's just me, but when I'm working, I always put myself as the barista in the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink tonight? Hmm. Do you have any blood? Sorry, sir, but we don't. Come on, do you think I was serious? Oh, okay. Now, give me a ginger green tea. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. Okay, so green tea and a ginger. Don't mess it up this time. Don't mess it up. Is it Fury? Am I reading it wrong? Is it Fury, yeah? My bad. <laughs> Here is your ginger green tea. Let's see. Hmm. Not enough. 
Excuse me? It's not warm or bitter enough. Uh, I'm sorry. Forget it. It's not bad. But definitely not enough. By the way, if you don't mind me asking, so I needed to go green tea, ginger, ginger. That's what I needed to do. By the way, if you don't mind uh, mind me asking, asking away. Uh, you said you were from, you were here for work, right? Yeah, well, yes, for a couple of weeks. Well, you're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? <laughs> Hell no. I would never imagine myself doing something so, uh, what's the word? Something as honorable as that? Hmm. Then are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not a criminal, in case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job per se, but definitely not as honorable as working in a hospital. Then what is it? Guess. You travel a lot, more or less. You befriended a startup founder, so I assume you either have your own startup or you work in some kind of investment agency? Hmm. I used to. But not anymore. That startup founder, he's just a friend. Then what do you do? I've had many career paths in my life. They got boring after a while. So right now, I'm a model. I didn't expect that. But you have the looks and the figure, I guess. So I guess that makes sense. You want to know a secret? Sure. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products? No way. Vampire models. <laughs> We are naturally good looking. Skin paler than an elf's. But we don't have those annoying pointy ears, which makes us basically a bunch of good looking living mannequins. How better to advertise anti aging products than with people who naturally don't age? Isn't that false advertising though? Don't be naive, of course. Truth is a matter of circumstances and perspective. Advertising is just farming the, or framing the truth. I never thought of it that way. How long have you been modeling? Oh, not long. Not much more than 30 years, of course. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, no, no big deal. Just like 30 years. I changed my career paths a bunch of times, but yeah, of course. <laughs> Good evening. Can you please be a little quieter? There's another customer here. Act like a civilized person if you can. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to make this place a little livelier. You don't mind, right, sir? No, I don't. I'm pretty sure I saw you the last time I was here, too. You bet. You can say I'm a regular here now, hence the attitude. Hey. You look very happy, though. Any special occasion? Nah, nothing. This is my default state. Uh, she only has two states. Either extreme excitement or super stressed. Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, uh, what were you talking about? Uh, we were talking about Mr. Hyde's profession here. And what is your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Holy shit. 30 years of modeling? It's a long time. Not for me. My current li uh, li liaison in the clothing brand I work with is the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. I... That was, that was a big one. <laughs> Usually, I work until it's the grandchild. That's really cool, I guess. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. Uh, how's the writing so far? It's okay. Uh, but I'm stuck in a need of a warm drink. So, brew me something, please. Coffee? Nah. I need to take it slow tonight. Make me something warm and sweet without coffee. Warm and sweet. So, maybe chocolate and milk. Warm and sweet. What if I just gave you something uh, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate? Yeah, it's warm and sweet. Hit me there, yeah. Hey, Flora, how you doing, Flora? I thought I was going to fully miss the stream. Oh no, how you doing, Flora? Hey, bearded gaming, how you doing, bearded gaming? Good to see ya. Sweet and warm, warm and sweet. Here you go. anything wrong it's not bad it's not warm or sweet enough you needed more honey did you but don't worry about it so you're a writer yeah i work for the evening whispers but and i'm also working on my own novel right now sounds interesting what kind of novel are you writing mm, it's complicated you should wait until she finishes it yeah no spoilers that's if she ever manages to finish it yeah yeah, that too. What's the genre, of course? Slice of life. So not fantasy or sci-fi? Mm. 
still not sure. Probably it will be a normal slice of life. You'll have tough competition. You're not wrong. I'll probably put some surreal elements in there, but maybe I'll set it in a world where only humans exist. Hmm. Sounds a bit racist, actually. That's the twist. This isn't about racial supremacy. I imagine even in a world where only one race exists, problems will still appear anyway. Discrimination and racism will still happen. How can they be racist without other races? Differences in language? Differences in nationality? Differences in ideology or even skin color? When everything's the same, the smallest differences will stand out. Perhaps it's a diversity that can teach us to look past the differences. The bottom line is, well, we'll always find a way to hate each other. I assure you of that. It doesn't really sound all that funny, actually. Hey, it's fantasy, of course. That's what fiction's for, anyway. Painting the what-ifs. That's actually pretty interesting, actually. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly back here to have it signed. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, it's her again, Lua. Hi, everyone. Good evening, Miss Lua. Hi there. How's it going? Great, thanks. Lua, please meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. And Hyde, please meet Lua. Well, hi there. Are you by yourself? Yeah, I just finished a meeting. I needed an escape from my co-workers, so I decided to come here instead. Is Bailey's coming? Oh, he's not. He's a freelancer, remember? He's free to do whatever he wants. Is everything okay? To be honest, we haven't talked much since the other day. Oh. We shall fix that with a warm drink then, yeah? Good idea, thanks. I'm in the mood of a, for a green tea, uh, green tea latte, yeah? Green tea latte? Is there a problem? No, it's nothing, sorry. Then a cup of green tea latte, please. Okay. Green tea latte. Wait a sec, we gotta figure out how to do this one. Green tea, milk, and milk. Okay, so green tea and milk and milk. Right. Okay. Yeah, Midsummer Night's a Dream. Tea, lemon, and honey? Interesting. <laughs> Have I heard about a coffee shop that had customers like this? I would become a regular just to meet them. Especially the non-humans. Right, dude. Right? Green tea, milk, and milk. Right? That's a green tea latte. Green tea, milk, and milk. Very good. Whoops. I give it a heart or give it some art or a heart either or but we give her like a smiley face turn that frown upside down sweetie oh that looked like a sad face <laughs> your green tea latte is ready thank you I don't know why but I was suddenly longing for a green tea latte like this drink feels really heartwarming Probably pretentious, but I think drinks have the power to connect people's hearts. It's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea, yeah. Hmm. By the way, about Bailey's, uh, he ha has he visited this place again after our last meeting? Not that I know of. No, he hasn't actually. Oh, I should apologize the commotion we caused. Please don't worry about that. Oh, who is this Bailey's person you keep mentioning? Bailey's is, or was, or I don't know, my boyfriend? We had a little fight a few days ago. About what? Hey, is it okay for him to ask her just like that? You tell me. Dude, I'm just a customer. You're the owner of this place. It's an old problem. I'm a suck, suc succumbus, succumbus, succa, Succubus, and he's an elf. Succubus. Somebody said how to say this. Let me say it one more time and have it, pro uh, like, uh, let me say it correctly. I say it once. Succubus. Thank you. Say it one time correctly. I'll get it. Succubus, and he's an elf. Thank you. Cheers, by the way. Uh, 
Ah, the usual racial problems then, yeah? Show some manners, old man. What? I'm just following up on the questions you started. It's all right. Bailey's and I have different views on the importance of family. My family is pretty close, and you usually and usually they're supportive. But when it comes to dating an elf, they fear that I'll be treated like, like a peasant. And Bailey's, on the other hand, he comes from a well-respected elven family. They can be cagey at times. I get it, but for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising that his family would disagree with that relationship. You don't sound like the most succubi. Succubi, I know. Succubi, I know. How's your boyfriend dealing with with this, though? He said he he said we should just keep going, just the same as we've been for the last ten years. So you've been together for ten years as a couple, and he's suggesting that both of you should just go on as usual. I mean, your relationship for the past ten years that was without uh, familial uh, familial familial approval, right? Well, yes, I guess, but I want our relationship to move forward. I want a family. Did he disagree with the idea of marrying you? No, quite the opposite. He wanted to marry me, actually. Well, what's the problem, then? It's not that simple. His family will disown him? Yes. He wants to marry you, even if he has to leave his family. Yes. Problem solved, then, right? Why do you have to care so much about what his or your family thinks? Just marry him. Make him a family of your own. It's not that simple. I don't want to be held responsible. If he regrets the decision one day, abandoning one's family is not a solution. What if marrying me is a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? I can't take that kind of responsibility. I can't let him make that sacrifice. Lua, did you ever think about the risk when you started dating him? Well, yes. No, maybe a little bit. We don't think we didn't think it would get this far though. From what I can see, you're the problem here. Oh my god. You're pretty greedy for wanting it all. Him. Family approval. If you're asking for racial re uh, reconciliation, you might as well ask for world peace. Oh man, stop talking, please. Lua, if I may ask, uh, do you want to marry Bailey's? I love him, of course I do. Even so, I can't let him leave his family for me. It would be selfish, because I can't do the same for him. I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Well... That's difficult. So you're forcing your boyfriend to have the same life as uh, same life as you, or same life you have. That blood is thicker than water. Mentality won't work here, I guess. Not every family is worth fighting for, you know. Some are. Well, not his. Have you ever met Bailey's family? Well, no. They always rejected the idea. Did he try to introduce you to them? He did. You can't have it all, lady. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a story where you, some fairy godmother will suddenly appear and grant your wish. This is how things go in real life. You have to take chance and make sacrifices. And you choose which one is the best for you. Pretty simple. Oh my lord. Here's your freaking novel right here. I... I'm sorry, I have to leave. I hate to be the girl who always runs away. But thank you for the advice. Take care on your way, Miss Lua. I will. See ya. My lord. Man! Woo! You were super harsh, old man. Eh. Well, you agree with me, don't you? Well... You didn't have to say it so harshly, you know. What are you doing here by yourself anyways? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? I'm waiting for a friend. Is he here? Gala? Oh, there he is. There's Gala. Good evening, everyone. Oh, hey, Gala. How you doing, Freya? I'm fine. But your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. What did you do this, this time, Hyde? I stated facts. Harshly. To someone that needed it. But not the way you said it. Let me order a drink first. Then you folks can tell me about what happened. What are you having this evening, sir? Do you remember my theory remedy? I mentioned it a couple of days ago. The one with the ginger and caffeine, yeah? Yeah, that one. Can you help me try to figure out what it is? Sure. Should I try mixing the ginger with tea? Yeah. Tea, 
ginger, and I'm still not sure what the last one might be. Okay, I'll try experimenting with it. You'll know when you get it right, I guess. So, tea. Ginger. Honey? <laughs> Honey? Ginger honey tea. Here's your drink, sir. Hmm. I'm a hundred percent sure this is not the remedy I would need. Let me try brewing another one, yeah? It's okay. I'm more interested in the story anyway. So tell me what happened. She's a better storyteller than me. Alright, so there's this girl. Magic. And that's about it. Hmm. Hide, oh hide. You never change, do you? Oh, both of you are going to judge me for being honest now, are you? Dude, honesty is good and all, but you know, try not being a dick. <laughs> Listen to her, Hyde. She's got a good point. Hmm. Not you, too. I was a bit surprised, though. Usually you don't bother with this kind of thing. I've seen you actively avoid it. Hmm. Yeah, you do know me. We've been friends for years. Yeah, of course. Well, I don't know why I got involved in that discussion. I guess the vibe in this place has seeped into me. I understand. This place does ha does have that special magic, right? Not exactly a good magic, judging from the reaction I received today. You may be right, but there are better ways to say what you have in mind. Hey, bearded, bearded dad, gaming. Thank you for the, thank you for the joining the membership. Thank you for the tip for good measure as well. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, bearded dad, gaming. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, big ups to you. Big ups to you indeed. But there are better ways to say what you have in mind. Anyway, I've got to go. It's so soon? It's past midnight. I need to get some sleep. Take good care of yourself, Freya. Sleep tight. See you guys. Have a good night, Lady Fluffy Dragon. Do take care. Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. What did you want to talk about when you told me to meet here? I was just bored. And that's the surest way to make you come out. <laughs> Seriously? I thought the story from Freya was enough. Fill your daily dose of interaction. Well, it was. Something indeed. This is something about being my friend for years? Yeah, why? You ever wonder what it would be like if we hadn't met? What do you mean? Forget it. It's late, anyway. I need to get back. Huh? Alright, Kans. Thanks for the evening. The pleasure was mine. See ya. Oh. You think... It, this is reaching a little bit. But you think Gala and Hyde... You think Hyde has a thing for Gala? What was that? You know him better than I do, Mr. Gala. Care for another drink to the end of the day? <laughs> sure. Chocolate maru mir Miraku? Sweet, nourishing, healthy chocolate? Saturday, September 26th of 2020. Atlantic countries plead for land folk to send help instead of trash. Opinion. Who watches The Watchmen in Seattle? Cats are the best creatures on Earth. Research has proven. <laughs> Very well. Ah, uh, welcome. Hello there. Good evening. Well, good evening, sir. Uh, the usual earthling linguistics problem. Linguistic problem. Holy crap. We will never get used to it. Um, is it okay if I call you, sir? Definitely. Do it his vision or advisor. Eh, oh my lord. 
You can call me. You can call us whenever you like. Excuse me. We do not mind a bit. Do you want to order anything? Oh yeah. Uh, we have to communicate our order. Uh, please pardon us. Hmm. What do you re look? What do you recommend? We will not be able to taste the difference anyway. Uh, what do you mean? It is all right. Forget it. What is the most expensive drink here? Everything's the same price in this coffee shop. Really? That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far, have you decided on what you want to order then? Okay, we would like to order anything. Anything? Anything. Coffee cinnamon with honey? The new thing I just made up. Here you go. Cinnamon honey coffee. Your drink is ready, sir. I hope it's to your liking. Don't worry. It will not matter to us. Okay, let us drink this. Stuck his finger in there? Um, well, yes. Oh, nothing. Okay. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah, why did you put your finger in the drink? It's a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Drinking it? Yeah, drinking it. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, we almost forgot. Earthlings use their speaking organ to drink. We use our appendages to drink. Usually a polyprof... Polypropylen... Propylen... Drink... Polypropylen... Propylen? Oh, frick. Drinking apparatus is provided for us to use? I beg your pardon? That's what I'm saying. Is what you call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick? Oh, a straw. You mean a straw. Oh, yes. We wonder why earthlings rely on it so much. Mostly, you can drink without it. Yet the plastic stick apparatus was provided on 87.76% of all drinking occasions we encountered. Holy crap. It has become one of the biggest uh, single-use uh, pol uh, pollutants of, the, of your planet. Oh, all right. I can see where this is going. Anyway, how do you drink with a straw? The same as we just did. Or did I say how do we drink without a straw? Well, thanks to the plastic stick apparatus, we do not need to put our appendages into the liquid mixture you call drinks. It is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthlings' decision-making processes. I see. I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hands on a straw. Affirmative. By the way, you said you just arrived. Where did you come from? far it would be too complicated to tell you all the details but we can tell you one thing we have a mission here a mission yes what kind of mission uh, find what the earthlings call a female okay <laughs> and then <laughs> breed what it came to this planet so that you could breed our females what the heck Go back to your planet, sir. Us humans can barely even do that ourselves. A cup of coffee is my favorite comfort. Oh, very well. How you doing, Sydney? So you came from a faraway place to find a date? Date? Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. No, I'm not talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But no, our mission also does not have anything to do with fruits. I wasn't talking about that kind of date either. Oh, pardon us again. Your language is extremely confusing sometimes. Don't worry about it. We also struggle with our own language facts. Earthlings really need to work on their own communication. Uh, there are so many ways to, commu to make communication more direct and simple. Of all the places we have been to, this place has the worst communication methods. Can't argue with that. No, I, I really can't. But how's the mission so far? Not good. We are using the unique communication application. According to our data, it is the biggest source of breeding interaction on Earth. Don't say tender. Although the success rate of the breeding is not as high as the interaction. Huh? I never heard about it. Wait, are you talking about a dating app? Ah, oh, shit. Here we go. This symbol used a fire symbol as their sign. It's tender. You are talking about a dating app. 
But again, we found some uh, contradictions in the application. What do you mean? According to our understanding of the application, it requires the person that re interacts with it to simply swipe left or right. <laughs> if you swipe left, it means you do not want to breed. <laughs> if you swipe right, it means you do want to breed. <laughs> That's one way to put it, dude. Yeah, you're right about that. And when two interactees swipe right between each other, they can commence the introduction to the breeding process. <laughs> Didn't go well, I assume. Most of them started communicating with very big letters on the communication platform. And they said some words that cannot be considered proper. I... I don't know what to say about that. But you said most of them. Some of them actually did not get mad? Oh, uh, some of them are laughing with text. Did you get to meet them? We set up meetings. Many of them did not appear. But some did? Yes, but we got confused with the way they communicate. No outcome for from their meetings. Well, maybe because you're sucking through your finger. I'm pretty sure they don't want you to suck through a finger, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they do. Holy moly. Could you imagine having a finger that could suck? Beats technology. Even though we decided to go to various recommended, recommended places according to our database. And this coffee shop happens to be one of the recommended places? Why, yes. Interesting. Then you're here to meet someone? Yes. But she should have arrived some time ago. Maybe each earthling also has different... Uh, interpretations of time. Well, you're right about that. Oh. <laughs> Are you doing this? Good evening, miss. Evening. Would you like to order something? Cafe latte, please. You got it. Coffee, milk, milk. Got you. Making something spacey. It's a character from Heavy Metal. I will not draw on your latte. Your order is ready, miss. Thank you. <laughs> How is it? Good. Glad you like it. Are you here to read again, miss? Yeah, you know the drill. Please enjoy your time. Can I help you with something? Oh, nothing. Pardon us. Okay. Oh, crap. Um, excuse us. Yes? Are you waiting for someone? Not this again. No, I'm not waiting for anyone. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sure I'm not waiting for anyone. Because we are waiting for someone from this app. And she is an orc, just like you. Look here. First, I'm not the only female orc on Earth. Heck, I'm not even a pure orc. But is your name Yuruk High 69? Oh my God! Is this guy sane? Please pardon them, Miss. I don't think they're around. They're from around here. So, you have not answered our question. Are you Yuruk High 69? No. My name is Myrtle, and I never use Yuruk High 69 anywhere. Oh, you really are not her. This guy is so awkward. <laughs> He's socially awkward, dude. Of course I'm not. Seriously, men nowadays. If you're not that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends? Or go to a club or something. But we don't have any friends on Earth. Hmm. Hey, when you said he's not from around here, are you saying he's not from Earth? Well, from what I've gathered up to now, they're not from this planet. Man. Uh, pardon us for interrupting, but when you said club, which activities are you talking about? According to the search re result, there are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting. Like this club about space exploration. They call themselves Trekkies. <laughs> Forget everything I said. What time are you supposed to meet this female orc? About an hour ago, according to the local time. She's bailing on you, man. 
What does that mean? It means big chance she's not coming? I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. Have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it, according to the application. Did she reply? No. Ouch. If she didn't reply, I'm 100% sure she bailed. She's not coming. I believe Miss Myrtle here is right. Hmm. That was... We are a pretty objective people. But somehow Earth's vagueness has taught us a new kind of feeling. This has happened before? Many times. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But it might be a sign you need to change your strategy, yeah? Earthlings use strategies to breed? <laughs> the most complicated strategies, in fact. Your kind never ceases to amaze us. If that's the case, then we do not need to be here anymore. You could stay if you like, though. Oh, it's okay. We need to report back immediately. But we will visit this place again in the future. You have a very nice place, owner. Please, just call me Cans. Thank you for your time, Cans. And thank you for your input as well, Miss Myrtle. We will definitely study the breed strategies on Earth. Sure. It's called Norm, by the way. Uh, the uh, breeding is norms. The uh, breeding norms. Although you can also use strategy as the keyword, too. We will keep that in mind. Okay, then. We are off. Take care. On your way. That was so funny. <laughs> oh, boy. Who the hell was that? Oh, hi there, Freya. Was that an astronaut doing... What was an astronaut doing in the coffee shop? Drinking and waiting for their friend, apparently. What kind of friend? Like... Like a dog? Like of the dog? Like of the dog? A date from a dating app. I should have been here. What does their date look like? The date didn't show up, actually. Oh. Poor astronaut. Why didn't they remove the astronaut suit first before being going on a date? I mean, showing off your job is pretty common, but it doesn't have to be that literal, you know? I don't think they're an astronaut. Not in the usual sense. What do you mean? They might be an alien. Alien. Like Englishman in the New York alien or alien alien? Alien alien. Outer space? Probably. Or other dimensions. I don't know. Wow. Like super wow. I mean, I know you get a lot of different visitors here, but... Wow. Life is never boring here. That's why I'm writing about it. Oh yeah, how's it going so far? The writing? Yeah, the writing with the capital T in W is going pretty well, actually. Nice. May I see it? Yeah. She's worried? What do you mean? Can I read the draft you've written so far? No, please don't. Why? It's not good enough. Hey, be more confident in your work. You know you're a good writer. Besides, if you're not that confident with it, maybe I could share some feedback. You're right. I actually have prepared a printout of the draft, so you were planning to show it all along, yeah? <laughs> I wasn't sure about it. It's the first presentable draft anyways. Come on, I know the drill. And I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. Alright, alright. Let me get it out of my bag. Be honest with your feedback, please. I will. Now, will you hand it over? It's okay, Freya. Here it is. Thank you. Now, let's see. Oh, no. How was it? How was it? Let me read it at my own pace, okay? She's anxious. What's wrong? Is it that bad? The main character? Oh my. Is the main character badly written? I don't think the character suits my personality. That's because you're not the inspiration. Too bad. You have a prime example standing in front of you every day. Prime example? You? You're like the most mysterious person I've ever met. Wait, I think someone's coming. Hey, the draft. I'm not done yet. Uh oh. Oh! 
Look at you. You're like a... An octopus? <laughs> I don't know. Welcome. Would you like to... Would you like to drink here or take away, miss? Here, please. What would you like? Or maybe you'd like to sit down first before deciding? I'll order right away. No need to hurry. Take your time. Is it okay if you order something a bit complicated? You could order anything you like, as long as we have the ingredients. If that's the case, do you know masala chai? The tea with spice? Yes. I'd like to order masala chai then, please. Uh, do we, we don't actually know masala chai, I don't think. So it's a tea with spice. Is it a, a chai tea? Are we talking like a green tea maybe or no? Regular tea? Is it like tea, coffee, and ginger? Or sorry, cinnamon. What should I do for this one? Or is it chocolate? Oh, is it a mermaid? Hey, Lizzie. How you doing, Lizzie? Chai just meets tea. Black tea with spice. Should I go... Tea, tea, spice? I feel like we've done that though. A masala chai. No coffee and chai. Usually with with milk. Should I go tea, milk, cinnamon? Let's do it. Let's see. Why not? A shy a Denny. I could trash it and do something else. A tea tea cinnamon. We have five trashes. Cinnamon tea. <laughs> Crash that too. Masala chai. Tea. Tea honey. Cinnamon. Honey. Okay, yeah. Let's let's do the tea tea cinnamon maybe. Yeah. Tea tea cinnamon. Cinnamon tea. Or maybe tea, cinnamon, cinnamon. Your drink is ready. Hmm. I... Yes, miss? Uh, nothing. I should give it a try first. As I thought. What did you think of it, miss? Uh, sorry, I forgot you could hear me. Uh, the drink is... It's good. It, but it's not what I ordered. Oh my, that was my mistake. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Yeah. Understood, miss. Huh. Oh. A mermaid with a cell phone. Where were we? Uh, the main character. The character feels very you. You bet. If the readers know me, they'll notice right away. Is that okay? Sure, why not? It sounds so nar uh, narcissistic. Don't worry about it. They won't notice it unless they know me personally. And having the main character think like me makes it easier to write. If you say so. Uh, sorry. She is kind of adorable, isn't she? Did you say something? Yes, she seems shy. Sorry uh, for interrupting. Are you a fiction writer? Why, yes, yes I am. This sounds so cool. Yeah, well, yeah, but I only write small scale fiction. Short stories for the newspaper or nonfiction stories about people in this town. She's writing a novel right now, you know? Oh, she doesn't like that. In fact, I was just reading the draft for it. Hey, wow. How many books have you written? Well, this would be my first book, if I finished it. I always wanted to be a fiction writer, but conjuring words is hard. I'm a writer, and even I can't use complex words like conjure, like you just did. A lot of people have said that my vocabulary is uncommon. What do you do? What's your name again? Uh, pardon me, my name is Aqua. Hi, Aqua. 
I'm Freya, and the barista here is Cans. Greetings, Miss Aqua. Nice to meet you. So yeah, what do you do? Um, I'm a researcher at the university. I also make games in my free time. Yo, Aqua is kind of lit. Hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know? Thanks. You said you can't write? But research papers need a lot of writing skills, right? Indeed. But it's descriptive writing, not narrative writing. What kind of fields are you researching, by the way? I focus on computer graphics. Whoa. It involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. Uh, not something the media would cover, I guess. It wouldn't attract many readers. Oh my. I forgot you're a journalist. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> Come on. You don't have to worry so much about everything. It's all right. Excuse, excuse me for interrupting. Yes? You said you were a researcher in computer graphics, right? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering technique for 3D environments? I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my, yes, that's me. Did you read it? I did. It was pretty important for the project we're working on. Um, may I ask what kind of project that is? It's a video game series called Full Metal Conflict. Are you kidding me? You work on FMC? Oops. I'm sorry. I got a bit too excited all of a, all of a sudden. Don't be. It's nice when you meet someone who likes the things you work on. I love that series so much. My name is Aqua, by the way. But you already knew that. My name is Myrtle. Er, what do you... What do you do in the project? I'm one of the technical artists. Ah, no wonder. Yeah, I don't want to intrude on your discussion any further, but uh, could I ask for your business card or something? Me and some friends have something we want to discuss. We submitted qu uh, queries through your department's contact form, but we haven't received any replies. Oh yes, that happens a lot. The form sends the queries to another department, and sometimes it takes them a bit to respond. Pardon us for that. Of course, should have expected that. I don't have my card with me right now, but uh, uh, we can swap email addresses if you want. Sure, that sounds good. Here's my email. This Full Metal Conflict series you two are talking about, is it the same series that's getting a movie adaptation too? Yeah, that one. To be honest, I hated the idea of turning the game into a movie. Nonetheless, Hollywood. They have the budget for the flashy visuals, but I doubt they'll do the series justice. Why? Because some games tell their stories in a unique way, and some stories can only be told through this medium. And F FMC is no exception to that. Interesting. Do you play video games? Well, not much. I usually play weird, obscure art games. The type of game you might see it in an art gallery. Really? That's weird. You're not the first to say that I'm weird. Uh, it's not that. It's usually people that play arty games are gamers that got bored of the current state of video games. That's true. But I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to mainstream games. Hence, a lot of the players are not gamers. And they're more accessible to play, but harder to receive. Understanding uh, them requires a whole different level of many things. <laughs> Sorry, I rambled on for too long, but at least that's what I think. Good point. Yeah, that was that was a really good perspective. I play those types of games uh, thanks to people I hang out with. Yeah, you got the look of an artsy hipster, you know? Nailed it, baby. So you understand my point about the adaptation, right? Kind of. Anyway, I need to go back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow about our question, right? Wait, what time is it? Oh my, I also need to go home too. We could walk to the bus stop together if you want. I hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Just Myrtle is fine. And of course, it won't bother me at all. Shall we go now? <laughs> sure, absolutely. Thank you so much, Cans. And you too, Miss Freya. Good luck with the writing, of course. You take care on your way, okay? Will do. And see you around, folks. Please be careful on your way back. Oh, I love that. That was a nice interaction, though. Yeah. Danielle, oh Danielle, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Danielle. Hey, big ups to you. Hope you're doing well. That was very kind of you. Thank you very much for becoming a member. That was very kind of you. Big ups to you. Hey, for the people that joined and became new members today, make sure to definitely check out our members' videos and live streams on the channel too as well. <laughs> so, yes, that was a nice talk. 
but you haven't given me proper feedback for the draft yet, and I could see that you were reading it on and off. Well, it's kind of good. Seriously? That's it? I'm not an editor. Did you expect me to have a list of notes for you? Yes, actually. Really? You're mysterious. That much is true. But I've been a regular here for a while. I recognize the expression you were making as you read it. You have a lot of comments, right? Admit it. Okay, well, you got me. But this won't be short. And I will be really honest about it. Well, the night is young. Bring it on. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. Oh, dang it. Black magic. Sweet, cool, and magically wakes you up. Freya is so lucky to have a place like that. The good stuff that she is to write about thanks to the coffee shop. I know, right? It's awesome. It kind of makes me want to have, like, like I want to go to a coffee shop that I can go to at midnight. <laughs> and just hang out. Sunday, September 27th, 2020. Research found that most furry, fury, sedative on the market are not safe. Profile, Morris Lester, from slum to glam, from slum to glam. Pajama clad, 27-year-old architect found decapitated on his own bed. If you want to order anything else, I'm good for now. I'll order again once I finish reading this. Okay, then. I'll leave you with whatever that is. Oh, man. Is that Aqua? Oh, Aqua, fancy seeing you again so soon. Hi, Freya. Hi, Cans. Good evening, Miss Aqua. How are you doing? How are you two doing? Same old. I'm good. How about you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Oops, I asked that already. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Is Myrtle here? Uh, so far, it's only me and Cans. Uh, we have you with us now, of course. Are you meeting her here tonight? Oh, it's not that. I was just wondering whether she's coming here again tonight. You have her email, right? Yeah. But why don't you just tell her to come and meet you here now? That always works for me whenever I want to talk to someone. Eh, that wouldn't be nice. It's not that important anyway. I just wanted to follow up on the questions her team sent today. Follow up directly, I mean. Anyway, I should order something. Take your time, Miss Aqua. It's all right. I'll order now. I'll have a cup of tea with lemon uh, and cinnamon, please. Okay, cup of tea, lemon, cinnamon. What is that? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What is that new one right there? Mint. Okay. Lemon and cinnamon. Tea, lemon, and cinnamon. Coming right up. What is that? A Russian tea. Here you go. Oh, it looks so pretty. If I'm not mistaken, it's called a Russian tea, right? Oh, you knew? I heard about it once. I'm pretty sure the only part that's Russian is the name. <laughs> it was originally from a community cookbook or something. You're right. Whoa, that's a highly specific fun fact to know. I guess I spend too much time browsing the internet. When did you arrive? I've been here since you left last night, actually. Uh, what? Finished drinking first, Aqua. I'm sorry. I said you haven't left? I was just joking, of course. Oh, that would be crazy. Why? Oh, no. I didn't mean to offend you or anything. It's just that uh, you, you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You too, can't. Please make sure you get enough rest. Of course I will, Miss Aqua. Thank you for the reminder. By the way, Aqua. Yes? Uh, where do you come from? Because, uh, judging from your accent, uh, you're not from the States, right? No, I'm not. I'm from the ocean. Whoa. So you're a full-fledged oceanic? Born and raised in the sea, baby. Why did you move here? Uh, chasing the American dream, I guess? You moved with your family? Mm. No, I'm the only one who could move here. Oh. May I know why? It's not easy for our people, especially the females, to get higher education. I got scholarships and the opportunity. I wasn't sure about moving, you know. But my parents pushed me to do it. How long have you been here? Almost two years now. Do your parents visit often? They can't. Do you know how hard it is for people to get a US visa? I'm sorry to hear that. 
It's okay. We're still in contact, though. We do a video call at least once a week. Do you have any siblings? Of course. We are sea people. My extended family is probably as big as Seattle's population. Whoa. That's a lot. You really have that many relatives? Yeah. Of course not. I was just exaggerating. But if you count my grandpa's kids and grandkids, there are hundreds of us. Holy. How about you, Freya? Do you have any siblings? I have... Not as many as you, I assume. I have a little brother, four years younger. He also lives in Seattle. No, he lives in San Francisco, near our parents' house. He's a good kid, and I'm the rebel, working some high-end tech job while taking care of my dad on the weekends. That's so nice of him. I know, right? That reminds me. I should visit my parents after finishing this draft. You should. Visit them while you can. I know. Anyway, I, I want to order something. Another espresso? You know, the usual. Send it. Send it. Hey, Ashley, how you doing, Ashley? Good to see you. Atlantic or Pacific Ocean, though? I'm assuming Pacific, if she's here in Seattle. Carbia? Carb? Carbia? Carbia says, I'm new here. I started watching your Dinkum streams. I'm on episode 5 and I'm playing Dinkum while watching them. Oh, very good. Very good. I hope you enjoyed that series. It's a long series, so you're in for the long haul there. Hey, Kitty Rice. How you doing, Kitty Rice? Your espresso is ready. Thanks. Bitter. Just the way I love it. Uh, who the heck are you? Good evening, sir. Good evening. How can I help you, sir? Uh, yes, um, I don't know what to order. Something to raise your spirits, perhaps? Hmm. Uh, hmm. Nothing you like on the menu? I can make you a custom drink if you like. Actually, are you familiar with STMJ? I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. If you can tell me the ingredients, I'm sure I can recreate it. Ah, lucky me. STMJ stands for Susu Teller Amadu Jahi. It's Indonesian. It means milk, eggs, honey, and ginger. Understood. Wait, do you have the eggs? I certainly have. They're not on the shelf. But I'll add egg once I've mixed the rest of the ingredients. I love that. One cup of STMJ, please. What was it? Milk? <laughs> Honey? And ginger, right? And then the eggs come next, right? Is that what it was? Milk? Honey? Ginger, okay, yeah. Milk, honey, and ginger. And then we add the eggs last, I guess. I know eggs is kind of weird, no? Honey, ginger, milk? Hopefully, we're going to put eggs in it? Here's your STMJ. Let's see. Hmm. You almost got it right. I'm sorry. Care to point out the mistakes? I guess it's the honey. You should have put the ginger in after the honey. Or after the milk. Don't worry about it though i've traveled to so many places in the states and none of them got the stmj right interesting excuse me may i ask your girl you girl something sure ask away what kind of things do you kids like doing nowadays excuse me aren't you college students um no we're not i see as he gets closer what the heck yeah may i ask you how old you are uh, you're being creepy, old man. Go back to your other chair and keep your distance. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be creepy. So you come off too strong. Come off too strong. Hey, Bassett. How you doing, Bassett? What's going on? I was wondering what you're drinking. Um, I'm just drinking a, uh, I'm just drinking some water. Some strawberries and pineapples. That's it. 
Yeah. Hey, Cads. I just, uh, who is this pervy old man? I want to, I have no idea. It's his first time here. I want to be able to understand young people. Oh, goodness gracious. Hey, little Miss Teddy. How you doing, Miss Teddy? Thank God you're here, Officer Georgie. What's up? There's a creepy old man trying to flirt with us. Where? You mean him? Yes, but not so loud. This man here is Rachel's dad. Rhea? He asked to meet me. So I told him to come here. Oh, I didn't know that Rachel's dad was a pervy old man. No wonder she ran away from home. Everyone, please meet Mr. Furlong, Rachel's dad. Mr. Furlong, please meet Freya in cans. Please call me Hendry. I apologize for earlier. I wasn't trying anything funny. I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Your name is Hendry Furlong? Yeah. And you're Rachel F uh, Florencia's father? Yeah. Furlong? Florencia? How do you have different last names? What are you trying to pull? Florencia was my late wife's maiden name. Oh, I'm sorry. Rachel chose it after her stage name, as her stage name. Okay, well, I think I better work on my novel then. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about anyways. Hey, I'll come with you. <laughs> anyway, what was it? What was it that you wanted to talk to me about? It's about Rachel. That night when you drove her home, was she hanging out with shady people? Well, I think one of them was a bit shady. Uh, hey, I heard that. <laughs> what? I'm not a criminal. I'm just kidding. No, she was in this coffee shop talking with Freya and Cans here. She wasn't in any danger. Are you sure? What about before that? Well, calm down. Is everything all right? It's just that I feel that she's getting more and more distant. I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Or even what to talk about. I don't even know what kids her age are into nowadays. Every time we talk, we end up fighting. Hmm. I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing that I learned, give them time and space. They'll be there when you can. Or you could just bribe them. One time I had a fight with my eldest daughter. She didn't want to talk for me for a week. I know she loves pizza, so I went to Rocco's and bought her favorite pie. I left the pizza on the table like a trap. Then I just waited for her to take a, the bait, just like a steakout. When she took a bite of that delicious pepperoni, I casually grabbed a slice and sat with her. That pizza really helped smooth things over. After that, she wouldn't stop talking. But what if... What if she loves doing is the problem? Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. I'm proud of what she has achieved with her career. She's really young, but the entertainment industry isn't a kind of place. is a kind of place. Not the label, not the media, not the fans. And I don't trust her new manager. Rachel's just a little girl. What if she gets harassed or forced to do drugs? I'm sorry, did something happen? Well, nothing's happened yet. I just feel it's in my guts. Is it possible that you're just being paranoid? I don't know, maybe. Oh my lord. Hey, Spec Bites, how you doing? Good to see you. Decided to start reaching out for the butcher knife. <laughs> Kids, I need to go now. Thanks for the drink, though. Take care. She walks out. Have a great night, Bassett. Do take care. Well, can't just... Uh, well, can't you just find another manager, right? Rachel's already 18, so legally, she can sign contracts without parental approval. I've been trying to tell her to quit, but every time I brought it up, well, just ended up fighting. As a parent, there's really nothing much we can do other than guiding them and being there when they need us. Sooner or later, we'll have to trust them to make their own decisions. And with everything we've taught them, hopefully, they'll make the right choices. What if she made the wrong choices? I can do a background check on that manager. If that will ease your mind, well, please do. He pulls out a flip phone, track phone. Yeah, let me check here. Let me see. Let me just go ahead and check. Let me do a background check on my track phone. Give me a name. It's Morris. Last name, Lester. Morris Lester. Got it. Oh, isn't he the guy in today's paper? Anyway, I'll let you know if there's a hit. Well, 
Hold on. I gotta take this. I've just got a call. I've gotta go. I'd love to talk more about this with you. Uh, let's meet again soon, yeah? Wait, uh, you have my contact details. Call me if you ever need my help. Wait! Do we earn any money from the drinks? No, you know. No, you just kind of play along with it. Don't worry. I'm sure everything will be all right. I used to manage a girl band. I've seen bad things happen. That bad? Yeah. I was against her joining that pop group at first, but my wife, Rachel's mom, she convinced me to give it a chance. Ever since she's been gone, I, I don't know how to talk to Rachel. With her wanting to do more of her own stuff, I don't know what to do. What do you mean by her own stuff? Modeling, solo singing career, it's a whole different world than the band. I'm familiar with that side of the biz, but things have changed, right? Even if it has, I don't think it's for the better. Here comes Freya. She she survived being an idol, even managed to graduate and start a solo career. She sounds like someone who can take care of herself. Don't you think so? She's not ready, though. I don't want her to get hurt. There are a lot of bad people out there. People that just want to take advantage of her. You are her father. I understand you might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from achieving her dreams. I just want what's best for her. Is it really what's best, though? I think she's born to soar. But she's just a girl. My little girl. Seriously, though. That's your argument? I didn't mean to sound that way. I, it doesn't matter whether she's a boy or girl. You'll drive her away if you keep it, keep on acting like this. With your knowledge, you should be able to help her achieve her dreams. I once, I was once stubborn as a young girl too. Maybe I can give you a little advice on how to handle rebellious teens. I'd love to hear it. Is it okay if I stay a bit longer? Take all the time you need. Cafe latte, a caffeine boost uh, dominated by milk. Monday, September 28th, 2020. Have we, I think we've gone like a whole like week. Werewolf representatives push the ministry for more accessible sedative. Doctor from Salash Town, Salash Town arrested for experimenting with child cloning. Military personnel stationed along East Coast to prevent immigrants flooding in from the Atlantic. Maybe the maybe Aqua was from the Atlantic then. Are you sure that would be okay? Yes, I mean, it would really be hard to pull off, but it's something that will make the story different. Different isn't always good. It's a neat concept, but you need to handle it carefully and gracefully, of course. I know. Are you going to do the whole... Are you doing... Are you going to do the whole game in this stream? Um, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how long the game actually is. I've been kind of just going with it. I don't know exactly how long. I don't know if it's a three-hour game, four-hour game, five-hour game, or something like that. But I'm not sure. I'm just kind of going with the flow right now. Hey, Gala. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Am I interrupting? You look like you were having an intense discussion. Well, it's nothing. Cans was just giving me some feedback. It's for the book I'm writing, of course. Sounds like a heavy discussion. What are you up to tonight? I'm just planning to sit and relax. Please don't let my presence interrupt you. Oh, don't worry about it. Although I need to interrupt Cans for a moment. Sure, how can I help you? Can I have a cup of, um, you remember my remedy? Of course. Do you want to give it a try again? My last order didn't quite hit the spot. Remember, it's tea and ginger. The last thing is definitely a different ingredient from either of those. Okay, tea and ginger. Tea, ginger, and mint. Mint is usually a calming thing, right? Mint is used to calm people. I, this was probably it. Ginger mint tea, yeah? Is this it? How is it? 
Nope. Ah, the drink doesn't even follow my guidelines. Did I do it wrong? Far from it? Did I have to put the ginger, then the tea? First? Never mind. Anyway, please don't mind me and continue with your discussion. Don't worry, Mr. Gala. We're done for the night. You're done. I have a lot of new homework thanks to you. You're welcome. Is Hyde coming? No, I'm by myself tonight. It's gonna be a peaceful night then. That's mean, Freya. Oh, come on. I was just joking. He needs to learn how to communicate uh, his thoughts nicely, though. Now, he might not look like, look like it, but he's a very kind person, you know. He doesn't show it, that's for sure. That applies to you as well. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Hey, Bailey's is back. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Bailey's. Hey, yeah. All right, how you doing, Freya? Not good. What's going on? Kans was just criticizing my story. That's, well, it's called feedback, really. It's cruel. It's necessary. It sounds interesting. What's the problem with the story? The story is non-linear and quite complicated. Imagine a choose-your-own-adventure storybook, but for adults. It sounds pretty common so far. But instead of telling you which page to turn to, each decision you make will give you a score. What? The score will determine which page you should go to. That sounds more like a video game than a book. I know, it's not that original. But my target here is the mainstream audience. Huh? With the help of my publisher, this kind of book may go mainstream. Just like the just like that you choose your own adventure show on Netstream. It was nothing new, but because of the marketing and the names involved, it reached the mainstream market. That sounds interesting and highly ambitious. At least it's simpler than my other idea, which is making the novel not in the form of a book, but in the form of a story card. Hmm. I know, right? As if she has all the time in the world. And that's before even considering the sensitive issue. Setting the story in a world where only humans exist. Wait, what did you just say? No, there's a reason why it has to be set that way. Just wait until I finish it, okay? Alright, alright. As Can said enough, or Can, as Can said though, I won't have the time. Getting a normal pitch approved is already a steep climb. Does not make the mountain even higher. Fair enough. What's the story all about, by the way? You have to wait for it. Don't want to spoil the fun. If you say so. Anyway, I haven't ordered anything. What do you want to drink tonight? Ginger latte, if you know how to make it. Ginger latte. Ginger latte. Okay. So... Maybe... Coffee... Milk, ginger? Hit me with that. Milk, ginger, coffee. Milk. Oh God. No, don't do that. Ginger and milk. Milk. Double milk? Coffee ginger milk? Oi. Milk ginger ginger maybe? Would it be milk milk ginger? <laughs> I was thinking coffee ginger milk as well. Or would it be milk milk ginger? Is that too much milk? Coffee, ginger, milk. Coffee, ginger. Or maybe, hang on a sec. Coffee, milk, ginger. Here you go. Thanks. Hmm. It's good, but, eh. But, you need more ginger. Not that it's bad or anything. I guess it's just my personal taste. So it would have been milk, ginger, ginger then, right? 
So it would have been milk, ginger, ginger. I guess it's just my personal taste. Noted. By the way, how are you doing, Baileys? Uh, still busy with your last client. Oh, I'm done with her. Done? As in you're dropping the project? Hey, I'm not crazy. I still need the money, though. Done as in I finished the job. I spent the past few days making sure. It's even done before the deadline. Did she like it? Oh, she loved it. She had some complaints, of course, but I convinced her by using some design terms she doesn't understand. <laughs> so you finish your job by bullshitting your way through, right? <laughs> uh, the finest bullshit, my lady? Uh, that's one survival skill every freelancer must have. Are you, mate work are you working on anything right now? No, of course. I'm taking a break from work. I need to work on a few personal matters, of course. Oh. Like? You and Lua? Something like that. By the way, I'm curious. How did you guys meet? If you don't mind me asking. I don't mind. Uh, it's just that I was young and stupid, you know? Oh, come on. Who hasn't been there? You're right. So, I was a bit of a player back in college. Ah, spicy. <laughs> And I was going after my then best friend's girlfriend's friend. What the heck? Okay, I'll say it slowly. I used to have a best friend. He was an incubus. Okay, let's call him Cognac. Cognac has a girlfriend. Still following? And that girl has a friend. And that friend is the one I'm after. Oh, all right. Got it. She was the one of the hottest girls there too. But everyone knew she wasn't the type of girl you'd want to date. Why? It's, well, I don't want to get into details. But the succubus was super hot. Uh, and all the guys wanted to sleep with her. She was a player too, though. Huh? That doesn't sound like Lua at all. Because it wasn't Lua, genius. genius. Huh? Lua was my friend's girl. Oh, shoot. Holy moly. This is getting even spicier. The other girl's name was... Let's just call her Rose. Continue. I knew Lua thanks to her relationship with Cogna. That's a fake name you made up, right? Yes. And now, will you let me continue without interruptions, yeah? Okay, okay. So I asked Lua a lot of things about Rose. She knew what I was after. It annoyed her so much, but I kept on bothering her. I mean, I was a pretty... active guy back then. So Lua came over to visit us at one point. I lived in Con I lived with Connect back in college. I've been out and I got back to just as Lua Lua arrived. A total coincidence too. We went into our place together and witnessed something surprising. What? Connect was sleeping with Rose. Holy mother of Molly. I saw the look on Lua's face, the disbelief, the anger, the sadness, and without even thinking about it, I punched Cognat in the face. You what? I got into a fight with him. Oh, I haven't told you? Cognat was a Brazilian jiu-jitsu tutor for kids. He's pretty good. Oh my. Yeah, I landed that one punch, and he beat me to a pulp. <laughs> Easily. Lua begged me to stop fighting on her behalf. <laughs> More like she begged Cognac. Yeah, <laughs> well, I lost, but I, I don't give up so easily. I was beaten pretty bad, though, so Lua took care of my injuries. We grew closer after that, and I don't even remember the exact date, but suddenly that friendship turned into a relationship. That was one hell of a story, I know. Have you seen her by any chance? Yeah, Lua came by a few days ago. How was she doing? She hasn't returned any of my calls or texts. Well, she's healthy, that's for sure. She got into an argument, though. With whom? Uh, there was this male model here. Model? I didn't think she was the type of girl to go out with a model. No, oh, they weren't together or anything. What were they arguing about? Well, we were talking about your relationship. Lua told us about the reason behind the fight, about your family and stuff. And then this guy, Hyde, joined the discussion. What did he say? He didn't understand why Lua insists on getting family approval, considering, you know. What? You're willing to leave your own family? You would do that for her. 
Yes, I would. I'm sick and tired of my family. Why would you say that? Let me tell you about my family. Or, I should say, most 11 families. Elvin. Did that say Elvin? <laughs> oh my god, that's how much I've been reading today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hang on a second, let me take a drink. Not so much the vocals, but more or less my brain and scrambling words. <laughs> hey, Shelly. How you doing, Shelly? What's going on? This would make into a good movie. I, I agree. <sighs> we all think they're so high and mighty. If you're born an elf, there are certain unwritten rules you must follow. Reputation and appearance are everything. We must never, ever make our family look bad. You can only befriend certain people. You must dress a certain way. You can only have certain jobs. Jobs that are deemed worthy and successful. Like being a doctor, a lawyer, a CEO. You know, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be an artist. I love drawing and creating art. However, becoming an artist is not something elves would deem suitable. Unless you become the next Da Vinci, of course. So when I switched from a business major to an art major, my parents went crazy. Screamed like they were on fire. They told me that I'd never be rich or successful. All that because you chose an art degree? You want to know the worst part about it? They blamed Lua. What do you mean? They blamed her for my decision to pursue my passion for art. Yelled about her kind is ruining the country. Accusing their religion of worshipping the Dark Lord. Accusing her of putting a spell on me and cursing the family. Oh, I mean, come on. This is the 21st century after all. That's so not cool. I don't want to sound judgmental, but your family is kind of racist. Tell me about it. Lua is the only person that can make me feel alive. She showed me how I can be free and pursue my dreams. I don't understand why Lua has, is, so, is so obsessed. With the idea of reconciliation with my family, I just don't get it. I have no problem leaving my family, you know. I would happily leave them for the both of us. What about her? What about her and her family? You may be happy to leave your family, however, it may not be the same for her. I... Well, Gala, do you have something to say, yeah? Perhaps you could give us a different perspective? Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. Uh, I, could, I couldn't help but overhearing your story. I assume that the person you're talking about is not an elf, correct? No, she's a succubus. I see. Hmm. I'm a werewolf. For werewolves, a wolf pack is the most important thing. We'll put family before any other. We often have our own problems within the pack, but we won't abandon our family for anything. Perhaps that's also true for her and her family. Besides, if you leave your family for her, wouldn't that make your parents believe that all those bad stereotypes about uh, succubi are true? Well, I, uh, I never thought of it that way before. Whether you like it or not, your actions will have an impact on her as well. And if you leave your family for her, that will put her in a difficult spot. She might feel responsible for your actions. There's nothing to feel bad uh, mad about. I'm leaving my messy family to create a better life, a uh, better one with her. It's easy for you to say that now, but you don't know what the future holds. One day, circumstances might change. One day, one of you might regret your decisions. One day, you might use the I left my family for you card. We love each other. I'll be with her whatever with I'll be with her whatever the circumstances may be. You know, love is like a flame. It might burn fiercely at first, but over time it will die down if you don't maintain it. Maintaining it won't be easy. It will be hard work because life life is full of storms. Woohoo! I tip my cap to you, Gala. And marriage it will not survive on love alone. Whoa, that's deep. Well, we'll have each other and that's enough for us. Tell me, do you have health insurance? What? I'm an elf. Why would I need health insurance? You'll need some. 
but poor. Immortality is an elven privilege, but you'll lose it if your family disowns you. I've seen people go bankrupt because they fell ill or get, got seriously injured. Empty their entire life savings for an $8 pill because in this country, they charge $20,000 for it. And if you decide to have children, they won't have the same privileges you do. There's a high probability that they'll get bullied for being a half-breed. There are consequences. It shouldn't be taken lightly. Think about it. Anyway, I've got to go. I apologize for my intrusion. No, oh, thank you for your insight. I've got to go too. Want to head out together? Sure. Thanks for the drink, Cans and Freya. See ya. Whew. You made me lose two customers in a minute, you know. Hey, that wasn't on me. They were leaving anyway. Are you going to write that in your book? <laughs> it's a secret. If your book is based on this coffee shop, how can you present a story like theirs in a world where only humans surround? I'm not sure. Perhaps a hot drink will give you some inspiration, of course. Sounds like a great idea. Tuesday. Who vows to stop major hospitals selling Fury sedative illegally? The Who vows to stop major hospitals selling Fury sedative illegally. Couchella 2020. 10 reasons why you should go. Sports tournament in space might be only a few decades away so funny he really never changed i know but it was surprisingly nice catching up with people from back then thank you for forcing me to do it don't mention it hey cans i like to order again the usual back to the experiment why well, yes you know what try adding milk to the ingredients you already have all right so you know what to do He went with ginger. He went with tea. Maybe. Well, wait a sec. Reset. Tea, milk, ginger. I think, right? Yeah, tea, milk, ginger. The gala had. The gala had. Hang on a sec. Let me trash that real quick. I just want to see some tea ginger milk. He did it the other way. Ginger milk tea. Okay, okay. okay. Tea milk ginger. Pop, pop, pop. The gala had. Mr. Gala. Galahad, try this. Thank you. Just what I needed. What about you, Mr. Hyde? Would you like to order anything, anything else? I'm good for now. I couldn't help overhearing you both. It sounds like you two go way back, yeah? We do, I guess. He was my bodyguard. Oh? Didn't you meet here? Yeah, when this was a bar. What happened exactly? He was getting his ass kicked by a couple of dwarves. <laughs> those two bastards it wasn't a pretty sight so i intervened aren't vampires supposed to be you know tough just because i'm a vampire it doesn't mean mean i know kung fu besides i've had a couple of drinks i could have taken them both if i was sober a couple really you were trash hide you told them i was your bodyguard wait were you not his bodyguard not at the time we didn't even know each other but because of the whole fiasco, we both got kicked out. And then this wasted vampire stuck to me. Like, 
well, you know, to a blanket. Obviously, he was too drunk to drive, so I hailed the cab. Turns out, he was also too drunk to tell the driver where he lived. And I was stuck with him until morning. <laughs> Thanks for not leaving me on the street, Gala. Those dwarves could have killed me. Who were they? I'm not going to confirm or deny anything, but it's possible they may have had ties to the Mafia. Could you imagine the dwarves having a... <laughs> <laughs> the dwarves having a mafia mobbing around and I might have lost some of their money on the stock market a lot of their money oh yikes yeah they wanted me to launder their dirty money so I decided to screw them over instead yeah I overheard uh, what they were talking about before the fight started I knew Hyde was innocent and that's why I helped him he might be an annoying asshole but he's not a thief what a stroke of luck, the universe sending me a guardian angel in my time of need. So the next morning, I offered him a job as a bodyguard for real. After all the trouble you caused me the night before. Hey, I took you to breakfast. Don't tell me that counted for nothing. I have to say, it was my proudest moment. It wasn't my proudest moment, I was broke. Breakfast was an offer I couldn't refuse. It was the late 1960s, mind you. It wasn't easy, finding a job, especially for people like me. Werewolves? <laughs> War veterans. Oh, I see. So, how did you go from working as a bodyguard to working in the hospital then? Well, when he was working with me, I noticed... Hyde, I prefer if we skip that part. I'm sorry, but I don't want to go into any details about it. It's alright, forgive me for asking. I don't mind telling you the quick and dirty version. Long story short, he helped me with, um, something. Let's just say something from my past. Thanks to that help, I found a new purpose in life. Helping other people live. Of course, it's not easy for a veteran werewolf to become a nurse or a doctor. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. So, you could say I owe this guy my life. Thanks to his stubborn persistence in helping me when I needed it. Thank you for sharing your story with me. I didn't expect such a tale from you. I know. Anyway, Cans, I'd like to order something now. What would you like? Can you make me a tea-based drink that's warm and cool at the same time? Tea-based drink that's warm and cool. Cool being milk. Tea, milk, milk. That's warm and cool at the same time. Bop, bop, bop. A tea latte. Here's your order. Exactly what I wanted. By the way, it feels like this place is missing something today. Yeah, I haven't seen her today. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hello, good people. And one vampire. <laughs> It's good to see you, too. Raya. By the way, we were just uh, talking about you. Oh, really? What about me? I was just surprised that you weren't here. Mm -hmm. Is that how you pick up uh, young girl, uh, pick up girls young enough to be your granddaughter? That won't work on me. What the heck? I have no interest in flirting with you. I've got high standards, you know. You? You look so tired, Freya. Hard day at work? Uh, how could you tell? Call it werewolf senses? Right. I showed Cans my draft, and I actually got some good feedback. That's good to hear. Glad I could help. So I spent the whole day re rewriting stuff, and I also did some stories for the paper. Overall, it was a good day. That's good to hear. Please don't forget to take a break, though. It's easy to get carried away by work when you're on a roll. Will do, sir. And speaking of hospitals, how's your hospital admitting life going? That's not even a word, Freya. Actually, I'm not even sure what you even do there. Hmm. It's pretty boring to talk about, but mostly I handle operational stuff happening in the hospital. Things like how much a specialist costs and how much it affects our income. I also deal with patients and their families. If they require intensive care, such as operations, I go through what we do and how much it would cost them. Kind of like business dev for people's lives, yeah? You could say that. 
Damn, that sounds complicated and hard. That's why I'm suited for my job. Someone who gets very emotionally attached to patients would find this job pretty tough. Whereas heartless people like my friend here only see it from a business perspective. Good point. Why do people rarely talk about your kind of job? I guess most people don't really notice we exist or think about the ne uh, necessity of it. Exactly. It's an interesting job, yet no one talks about it. Maybe because most admins are just like me. We rarely think or rarely talk about work outside the hospital. Why is that? For me, I just don't find any reason to. It's the pac patient's personal lives anyway. Such professionalism and loyalty. You should keep a hold of the mindset, especially in front of this lady here. You? He needs to be a, a bit less loyal, though. Hide. You've been doing this job for a while, right? Almost 50 years now. Whoa, I didn't know that. Wait, 50 years in the same profession? Uh-huh. Holy. As for a promotion, man. They keep offering me new positions, mostly managerial. Take it. I'm not interested, though. Why not? Well, it's not something I want. Besides, I've told you before, I fit perfectly in this position. But the salary must be better if you take the promotion, right? Of course it is. But what I get at the moment is more than enough for me right now. And I still get raises while I'm doing this job. I really can't figure out, figure you out. Well, that's gala for you. Yeah. Anyway, my shift's uh, starting soon. It was nice catching up with the both of you. Are you going to stay, Hyde? Yeah, I'm going to still enjoy the vibes here. I'll see you in a few weeks, I guess. Yeah. Safe trip. See you around, Kans. Uh, it actually kind of like brings to mind here. Um, there was a job listing, and they talk about how in this right. They talk about how, you know, the the jobs that go un um, unnoticed, right? And we, were, I think it was last night. We were talking about there was a job listing for a. Uh, I don't know the actual term for it, but it, I, I, is it like a. a a worker that does the cremations right now the worker that does the cremations get paid minimum wage right but that's a job that not a lot of people think in their head now that's a minimum wage job but that's a job that you have to have a special pers person for and someone that has to have some sort of strong mentality to be able to do like a, a job like that even like coroners as well right those jobs typically are like minimum wage or maybe just above a little bit above minimum wage jobs you know like even those jobs those are like those jobs where just jobs we don't think about that somebody does right kind of those hidden jobs right hey Zyman how you doing Zyman B what's going on this game is such a mood I'm really glad the sequel is getting a switch release oh very good yeah absolutely yeah I know I know right and you, Freya. See you. Take care on your way. You know, it's kind of hard to believe. Someone like Gala could be your best friend. We were just talking about that before you arrived, actually. Oh, really? Man, I missed an interesting story. So how did you guys meet? Seriously, I have to retell the story again? Yeah, I do. Come on. You're not going anywhere, right? <laughs> All right, then. We met in this place back when it was a bar. I got beat up by dwarves. Whoa! I never knew Gala used to be in that in the army. I mean, he's got the build to be on the front line. Still, though, why did he make the jump from, how should I say this, a very physical job to medic? Well, he's not comfortable talking about it right now. But you know why, right? Are you trying to squeeze the story from me? Obviously. He doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Seriously, Freya. Come on, now. I won't get into details, but going to war, it messes with your head. Oh. You see why Gala doesn't want to talk about it, huh? I don't get it, but it must be difficult, especially back then. The only thing he was confident in was his strength. So he only did work that relied on his muscle. That wouldn't help him get over this his trauma though, right? Of course not. But it was the only thing that he could do. Or at least, it's the only thing he thought he could do. But you hired him for his muscle. Hey, I didn't know about all that 
at that time. Besides, he's a good he's good at being a bodyguard. We weren't that close yet, so no personal feelings. I needed his strength though. But then I got to be interested in him. Interested? I think he's a cool person, that's all. And after a few months, I noticed his problem. I suggested he talked about it with someone, seek help, which he refused. No surprises there. But I kind of pushed him to do it. How so? It's complicated. Eventually, he did go to the get professional help. Of course, I have no idea what happened in his therapy sessions. But in the end, he found a new purpose in his life. He quit working for me. And not so long after that, he started working at the hospital. And he's been work... This guy. This guy. <laughs> this guy. Good evening, everyone. Oh boy. Good evening. It's nice to see you again. We are also glad to see you, barista. By the way, I didn't catch your name the last time you visited. Do you have a name? Name? We sure have. On Earth, please call us Neil. Neil. Neil Armstrong? Yes. Neil. Is that your real name? Uh, of course not. Uh, due to the nature of our communication, uh, we do not really need trivial, uh, trivial things like names to interact. But from what we have learned here, it seems like the name Neil has a lot of associations with Earthling efforts in intergalactic exploration. Ah, I get what you mean. I believe we did not meet the last time we were here. I saw you from afar from when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. So, hello, my name is Freya. Uh, you could say I'm a regular here. And you, sir, hide. You come here often? Uh, for someone who doesn't live in Seattle, yeah. Oh, you are not from around here. Neither are we. Where do you come from? Far away. By far away, you mean a few thousand miles or more? More. Much more. More to the point that your strange calculation system means nothing. That sounds far away indeed. What are you doing here in Seattle? And do all your kind dress like this? Oh, this? We chose this appearance based on our image we saw when we first arrived. Image. Ah, the Aramie Jinju album cover. No wonder you look familiar. As for what we are doing, this place is really the perfect spot to practice our communication skills with Earthlings. But before that, we please must let us something order something from the barista. All right, well, what do you want to drink tonight? The usual. That is how you say it, yes? Yes. So, anything? Yes, we won't be able to taste the difference anyway. So, you really can't taste anything? Yes. What if I can brew a drink that can make you feel something? Interesting premise. Uh, but we doubt you will be able to do that. Challenge accepted. Please, surprise. <laughs> I don't know. Hit him with, like, an espresso? Uh, like, a 100% bitter? Maybe? A cup of anything is ready for you. Thank you. What the? Interesting. What are you doing? I'm drinking. That's how they drink. Oh boy. <laughs> you are one interesting person. Thank you. That was a compliment, yes? Normally, yes. But you can't, you can't be so sure with Freya. That definitely was the highest form of compliment. What are you, Neil? Us? We are travelers, uh, doing our job in the space you call Milky Way. What kind of job? We are tasked with the mission to spread our seeds. <laughs> you really are here to find a day, aren't you? All the way from a galaxy far, far away. Wow. Turns out pervs exist everywhere in the universe. <laughs> Feeling attacked, old man? Not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand, but we are glad if we can make you laugh. Oh, the pleasure was mine. If I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? Hmm. We are sorry, but that is classified information. Oh, man. Well, how's the mission going so far? We cannot say it is going well. I'm not surprised. With how quirky a unique you are, uh, not many women can handle that. Could you handle them, though? Me? 
I don't know. What do you think? You're a pretty adventurous girl. I wouldn't be surprised if you decided to go on a date. Or maybe go further. If it got you, if it got you a good story. Huh. Oh, you're not offended by that, are you? Not in the slightest, actually. But you're wrong, though. I'd go on a date with him. But I don't like to sleep around. Really. To be honest, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Excuse me, miss. From what we gather, does it mean you are willing to breed with us in exchange for our stories? <laughs> wow, no wonder your mission isn't going well. I don't mind uh, going out with you for a drink or dinner in exchange for stories, but I'll only sleep with someone I'm serious about. But our mission is serious. It's not that. You either have to, f you have to be my boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. We have heard of those terms before. Let us check them once again. Ah, this is. This is very strange. According to what we found, many Earthlings mate with one person exclusively for their entire lives. Yes, that's called commitment. Such a strange concept. Then why? Uh, with such rules, do you still face overpopulation problems? Hmm. Now that you mention it, we don't have enough control of ourselves. And those in charge also don't have enough control of us. Not to mention, some races live very live for a very, very long time. So if we, even though those are rules about... So even though there are rules about having kids, and they can be strictly enforced, a lot of people still break them. We know Earthlings boast about the concept of free will, but we thought your kind also loved the concept of restraint and taking care of the planet. At least that's what we gathered from your information network. Theoretically, that should be the case, but Earthlings are stupid. That's the easiest way to put it. We learned so much today, but we have another question for Miss Freya. Ask away. How can, how can we become your husband? First of all, I would suggest going step by step. Most of the time, you start by dating. Boyfriends or girlfriends, you know? Before you talk about marriage. Oh, okay. So, uh, how can we become your boyfriend? You could start by asking her whether she's actually single. Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? Yes, I am single. Do you want to be our girlfriend? <laughs> now, the path to starting to date varies between people. But usually, it takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone. Wow. The breeding process here on Earth is surely extremely complicated. It can be easier if you're a smooth talker, though. A smooth talker. Someone good at communicating with others. That would be, a really, ch that would be really challenging for us. Even after all that, making kids is still in a totally different league. Most women prefer it if their male partners wear condoms. Condoms? It's something you wear to prevent pregnancy. Why would you do the mating ritual if you do not want to have offspring? Pleasure. All this information is too much to process in one evening. So we talked about using condoms, but how, do you, how does your kind have sex? Like seeing how you drink. A condom might be something you can't use at all. Hmm. That's true. How do you do it? We are pretty flexible with that, but we cannot tell you the details unless you agree to do the mating ritual. I don't want to imagine how it's done. Oh, you do not need to worry. We will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that, especially the mental part. We did our research and we tried it on the testing object we made. It was proven. The mental capacity of Earthlings is so far com more complicated than anything else on Earth, sir. Oh, we did not know that. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It is. I have to agree with that. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for the information you have given us tonight. It means a lot for our mission. Uh, we have to report our findings to the base. How will you proceed with your mission with this newfound information? We are not sure yet. It is yet to be discussed, after all. I was really, it was really nice talking with all of you. You're welcome. We are off now. Bye. Take care of your way. Take care on your way. Yeah. Whew. Oh, 
was really something. Indeed. You said the first time they came here was for a date, right? Yeah, but their date never came. And they then they mistook Miss Myrtle for their date. The game developer? Wow, I dread to think how that went. It was pretty awkward. But you can't be angry at such... Uh, not, what? I didn't see what that word was. I guess so. By the way, he was... Has that young woman um, been back since I spoke with her last time? You mean Miss Lua? Yeah, her. Oh, showing some concern now, are you? I'm just curious. No, I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend did come a few days ago. And Freya was being pretty nosy to the point that Mr. Gala joined the discussion. My, my. You really have a knack for starting trouble now, do you? Sadly, I have to agree with that. It's not easy to make Gala join a random conversation unless it really piques his interest or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. Well, I need to catch a flight to Seoul tomorrow, uh, so I'm off for the day. Oh, you're leaving Seattle so soon? It's only for a week or so. I'll be back here sooner than you know. Oh, well, uh, it'll be a peaceful week then. <laughs> huh. Anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting us stay uh, without ordering anything. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Uh, you really don't care about business. Uh, sir, you have a coffee cup in front of you? I don't know what you're on about. She didn't order anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. Hmm, that's the only way to put it, I guess. Anyway, Freya, uh, do you want to share a cat? Maybe he met her. Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. All right, then. See you around. Take care of your... Uh, take care on your way, folks. Woo! Black lemon. A perfect, if unlikely, combination of sour and bitter. Stretch it out. Gotta stretch it out. Give me a second. Give me a second. There we go. September 30th, 2020. Dwarven made cars face challenge against an unexpected com uh, competitor. The Mother Earth organization fights to save more forests and protests arise over government treatment of Atlantic immigrants. Well then. Welcome. Uh, men in black. Good evening, sir. Agent. Hello? Agent says, I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division, or F-I-R-E for short. How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. This is the Men in Black. We take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature? I don't think so, but what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure, but according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. That's, uh, that's a pretty eye-catching outfit. You think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know? Hmm, that is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we have been running around after false testimonies. They are super cre uh, superior creatures after all. Thank you for the help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. Will do. You don't want to drink anything before leaving, do you? We're good. Take care. Don't look at the flash when the pen comes out. <laughs> you really need to be more careful, Neo. Huh? Aqua? Oh, whoa. Aqua and Myrtle. Good evening, Cans. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua, Miss Myrtle. Have you been uh, somewhere together? Have you been somewhere together? We plan to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? No, you go first. Okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? Yes, you can have some green tea with a lot of mint. Absolutely, come in your way. A Mara Marrakesh. Marrakesh? Your drink's ready. Ooh. This looks really fresh. I call this the Marrakesh, inspired by its origin. Marrakesh in Morocco? 
I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then. Oh my, it's warm, but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order anything right away? Yeah, sure, I'll have the Teteric. Teteric, now do we have the Teteric? I don't think we do. Um. I don't know what the Teteric is. Could be something. Could be something. Maybe. Anything? Yeah, what's the Teteric? Show me the. Tell me the Teteric. Is it a coffee thing? Yeah? Is it coffee? Yeah? Is it a chocolate powder? Is it a milk base? What's the base? Tea and milk in Malaysia? Okay. Tea tea milk. That's a terror. Perfect. Here's your Tatera. Huh. Anything wrong? No. It's better than I thought it would be, actually. The taste is actually really authentic. Just like the Tateric you get in Southeast Asia. Thank you for the compliment. So it's TT milk, yeah? TT milk. Where did you learn to make it? I traveled around Southeast Asia a few years ago. Actually, I learned it from chat, but that's a different fact. So you learned about it in Malaysia, yeah? Yes, and from videos on the internet. So, um... How are things going in the office? As usual, tiring. But thanks to you and your team, we've made some good progress with a problem we've been stuck on for a while. I'm glad I could be of help. It's not every day our research can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime to make sure the game will be available for this holiday season. Oh. I want to say please don't forget to re uh, rest, but I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team. Huh. <laughs> As if those executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Please see your family, get some rest. But we all know that optional overtime is a passive-aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway, because if you go home early than the others, you'll feel bad for your team. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you, or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot, even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry, but it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everyone. Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not off. I'm not that bad off, you know. At least the company gives us decent compensation, healthcare bonuses, and so on. And we're already used to this, so don't you worry about me, all right? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hmm, cheer up. Remember, you research, your research helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I've had some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be showcased at Max West this year. PAX East, Max West. Like it. That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So, what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Well, why not? Confirm it fast before they give you your spot to another indie. I'm just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Costs? The booth is free for indies. Well, that's good then. And the events even in Seattle. Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on traveler accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But uh, I'm not that confident. They said golden ticket. That's the magic word, I guess. Not that confident. You pass the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. 
If I'm not mistaken, the judges are usually prolific people in the industry and also senior journal journalists. I know, but I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional and thousands of people will be visiting Max, expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know, and you'll be in the indie area. Uh, people know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid, of course. But what if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game and they say bad things about it? Or about me? That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. <laughs> Even after all that, I'll still be there by myself for the whole event. <laughs> that one is a problem. Meeting that many people are, is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight, uh, showing my baby to the public, I just can't imagine the horror. You know what? Huh? So far, my schedule is pretty empty around then. If things stay this way until max, I'll come with you. Uh, no, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free then, you shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an exhibitor badge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I can just ask my lead to skip this year. But, 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 uh, I'm coming with you, whether you like it or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Now, uh, what are we going to show the, when, uh, what, what are you going to show the game on? I have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? Expo build? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, well, that's the plan. Don't. I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the bill now if you want. Do so. Okay. Got it. Now, let's see. Oh, is that Freya? Hello, Miss Rachel. Oh, Rachel. She looks sad. Hi, Cans. Hmm. What's wrong? Nothing. I've just been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone. It'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm going to perform at Coachella uh, next week. They're still adding new performers? Yeah, you might say that those announced this late are... Mm, backups. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. Oh, huh, yes. And I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink, something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. Easy enough? Right? This is a tricky one. Dark chocolate, 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 chocolate. Is that considered hot chocolate? But in real life, you would put milk in hot chocolate too. But you would also put water in hot chocolate too. Yeah. Hot chocolate to me is milk. And chocolate. Right? That's what hot chocolate is. <laughs> chocolate. And milk? But that's cool. Honey? Honey and hot chocolate? I've never heard of honey and hot chocolate. How am I supposed to make sure this is hot? Coffee? I think it's just milk. I think it's just straight up chocolate. <laughs> it's 
cinnamon in the hot chocolate? I don't know. I think I'm just gonna do chocolate chocolate. It's not warm. Dark chocolate, it's a menu item, right? Sweet, yeah, that's true. it's true, it's not sweet, is it? Chocolate chocolate honey? That's sweet. Maybe that? Chocolate chocolate honey? Your sweet hot chocolate is ready. Thank you. I don't think it was warm though. How is it? Hmm, not bad. It's not special, but it's enough. Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. Other than the, other than the instruction on the loading screen, try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. Don't want to make them wait too long. That makes sense. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, uh, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. Uh, that should get people's attention, right? Noted. Is that Freya? Dad? What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening, I was worried I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. And now you're causing another ruckus? We're sorry, Cans. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You are sorry? I don't have anything to be sorry for. Well, anyway, I, I better order something. What do you have? What would you recommend? I might suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara. What the? Oh, what is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Sounds delicious. I'll take the Spanish Sahara. There you go. Your drink is ready, sir. My, my. This is amazing. Glad you liked it. Dad, yes? Please just don't go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good-for-nothing pervert. I need him. He's going to help me become more successful. I know Morris. He is not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like it was 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing his band, brand, making uh, his name, managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have many informants or informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First, you were afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're going, you're afraid of the industry too. What's next? You lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. Then make me understand because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. D didn't you learn anything from mom? You were together for almost 15 years, but you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Wait a sec. She was together with her mom for 15 years, but she's 18 years old. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Rachel, I, I'm sorry, but I'm trying, okay? Try harder, because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, not one. I know, no one. Uh, but give me a chance. You know what? It will take time for me to learn, but I am learning. Or, you know, I could return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dad, you are out of your mind. You've been out of touch for so long. I told you I have informants there. I, I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I need to figure out, but we, uh, it doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at the height of his career now. He's my best chance right now. 
Don't be too paranoid, okay? Hey! Thank you! Oh my holy mo! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> Thank you for the giant wall of re-ups on the memberships, everybody. I do appreciate that. Let me just take this time to say thank you to Shyla. Uh, John Boy, Lauren, NYC Cop Mafia, um, Stewie, Autumn, Johnny, Sarah, Serenity, DJ X Rated, Six Deadly Kids, Mark, Mark Dines, uh, Mel, Yai Gaming, Katie Moss, Sister Wolf, Luke, uh, Zurito, Tiger, uh, Norman, uh, Zombie Kisses, Anna Kate, Karen, Kodamal, Fiona, Andre, Anti Meow, Frailmine, all for re-upping your memberships. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now please go home. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away, and it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See you, Dad. Wait, Rachel... Uh... He's so worried, isn't he? So worried, indeed. Excuse me for a moment, Cans. I'm sorry about what just happened. Uh, you don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding our own, our own business anyway. What? You didn't hear their argu argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore them. It's none of my business, is it? Well, that's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I could do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely, especially when there's an argument like that. Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? Uh, no, uh, I was listening. I made notes. See? <laughs> you didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mentioned it, it happens naturally, I guess. Uh, being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes we don't even realize what we're capable of do doing. By the way, you want to head back now, yeah? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Gans, we're, we're leaving, so hope you have a good time. Yeah, thank you for the drinks as usual. Please take care of your on your way home. <laughs> hey! You almost choked on your Toblerone? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's all for two Day. Oh, you're back, Mr. Hendry. Are you all right, sir? Sir? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, please don't worry about me. Uh, did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No, I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm sure she's all right. I hope you're all right, too. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes, uh, throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel, something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? <laughs> now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. No, oh no, it's fine. I left you. I left around 20 years ago, just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know, and they were huge in the 90s, and they were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. So working worked for a record label, yeah? She worked for a record label? That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. Oh, I understand now. Psh, dumb of me. I understand how 15 years and 18 years line up. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands, did you? Oh gosh, no. The politics, but the politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But that hit me hardest was that. But what hit me hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls especially. They were crazy about their idols, to the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, their families? And the men, they were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly ima imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. It wasn't even the target of the abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. I don't talk to people about, or don't talk to, don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. <laughs> what do you do for a living now? 
After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're niche, but, you know, they love us for it. It's more than enough for our little family, I guess. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry? They visit my place from time to time, and we all meet up at least once a year. Usually, it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home, too. Are you going to be all right by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, cans. And sorry for bringing our fright fight to your to your place. Don't worry about it. All right. Goodbye. Green tea latte, both sweet and savory. I like green tea. Uh, green, green chai, I think. Green, green, t green tea. I like green tea. Chai, green chai tea. Yeah. October 1st. Rachel Florencia confirmed to perform at Coachella 2020. Coachella organizer reminds parents not to allow their children to attend unsupervised. Uh, Jill Naiman and Mirki Hurukami to collaborate for a new IP. Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, Neo, you've come early today. Is there anything I can help you with? There is definitely something that you can do. What is it? Can we work here? Excuse me? What? Is it possible for us to work here? What? Why? We have learned something precious since we first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth. And Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. It blows our mind to learn that you need to mix between verbal and nonverbal communication here. Well, yes, but I can see that your communication skill has improved an awful lot since you arrived. That is true. But it is not enough. Some of the biggest lessons about Earthlings we have learned. Uh, we learned them here. This made us think. Instead of focusing on finding a breeding partner, we should focus on learning how to communicate with Earthlings properly. Matcha latte. That's that's what I, I think that's what I, matcha. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah, matcha. Sounds like a good strategy, yeah? Well, that is why we ask you to allow us to work here. Because you want to interact with our customers, yeah? That is correct. Hmm, I'm not sure about this. Neil, normally if you are applying for a job on Earth, you have to go through certain processes before you finally get the job, if you get it at all. Oh, let me think this over, if you don't mind. And I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh, no. We are sorry for our spontaneous... Sp Freak me, I didn't get to read the rest of that. But it has to be today. May I know why? Because we are leaving for an event tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But with one condition. You might be making... You won't be making any drinks. I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you will, draw, you will give the cup to the customer. Understood. There are other things you need to keep in mind. What is that? dealing with the customers some people come here just to chill they might come just for a drink work or to read something i strongly suggest you let them be but always be prepared if they want to talk about anything how can we know whether people want to be left alone or not that won't be easy but you'll be able to judge based on their body language non-verbal signs yes that will be very hard for us indeed don't worry i'll give you a sign when you should start talking, or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well, that's basically all you need to do here. Do we need a special outfit to do the job? Not really. I'll lend you an apron, though, and to help keep your suit clean, and to different you from the customers. Uh, you don't really need any more different different differentiation, do you? But it will make you look more legit for the job, I guess. That is a very earthly thing to do. It is. All right, then. Are you ready for this? We are. Okay. Well, let's start the night. Welcome. <laughs> Holy wow. What the hell is happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. 
Hey, Kens, what's going on here? Well, Neil is working here tonight, and I thought I was the one who brought bad news. I never thought this place would be ground zero for an alien invasion. <laughs> it's not that. Uh, Neil is just helping out. You've never looked like someone who needs help. There are a few things to clarify, Miss Freya. The first, our mission was never about conquering Earth. In fact, it is the other way around. Second, judging from the situation, we are actually the person who is getting help from the barista, not the other way around. What? We have learned something since we arrived, and we came to a conclusion before starting another breeding mission. We should learn more about the how Earthlings communicate. We thought this place was the best place to learn. This could be an accident waiting to happen, I feel that. And you just agreed to this. Oh, on one condition, of course, I make the drinks. Neil will only be here to serve and communicate. Fair trade. What's in it for you, then? What? You're helping them here? Uh, what do you get in return? Now that you mention it, if there's anything you want from us, please do not hesitate to ask. Don't mention it. Well, maybe you could be my next story, then. I can write an article about your work here. Freya. If I still need to write for the paper again. What happened? The sh chief found out. Oh, no. Is that why you didn't come yesterday? Yeah. How did she find out? You remember my fateful meeting with the higher up? In the elevator? Yeah. The same thing happened with my chief. Uh, they met each other in the lift. And uh, the higher up mentioned our encounter to her. The chief called me into her office. And things went downhill from there. She realized immediately that it was the reason for my poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? Write the goddamn novel, I guess. I don't know. And after that, hope that it sells well. If not, I don't know. Hmm. We do not understand what really is happening, Miss Freya. But we feel the immense sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? It is on the house. Huh? You're allowed to do that? We will pay for the drink. No, it's okay. It's on the house. That was a nice thing to do, Neil. That was the best thing to do, according to our senses. It was. So, what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? Your favorite? Our favorite? Anything. I trust you with the decision. Let's make her a legit drink. Yeah? Let's make her something we haven't made yet. A cappuccino. Coffee, coffee, milk. Simple, easy, go. Make her a cappuccino. <laughs> Look, it's Neil's arm. Here is your drink. Especially crafted by the owner of this coffee shop. Well, who else is it going to brew it? Who else is going to brew it? Thank you so much for this. I always... I always wondered why your place only served hot drinks, but today I might have an idea why. How far along are you with the novel? I could prepare the draft in a few days, I think. Now that I really uh, don't really need to care about other deadlines, and if I imagine to infuse some coffee and creativity in my blood, that sounds doable, even without the caffeine infusion. Excuse me, Miss Freya. We have learned extensively about Earthlings' bodies, about all the races. And we do not think infusing your blood with coffee would be advisable. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. It was just Neil. Freya wasn't serious about infusing herself with coffee. Oh, we are glad to hear that then. Uh, that was a figure of speech, Neil. Ah, well, we have heard about that term. It is still very hard to understand your language. Uh, it will always be hard. Languages will keep on changing. Understood. At least we are here now to learn the basics of our Earthlings communicate. Uh, Miss Freya, if we may ask, ask away. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers? How many number words do you produce per day? Uh, I don't think I have the exact number, but full time? I should be able to write between three and five thousand words per day? That's a lot. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. I usually end up with about half of what I originally wrote. According to our research, the standard number of words for the thing you need to write in between 50 and 100,000. 
That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. That is a pleasant information to hear. How many words do you need to write? Let's see. I think it should be around 15,000 words. That's pretty big for a pitch draft. Well, it's a GRA Media, the biggest publisher around. If we count based on the number of words, it seems like you will be able to achieve your target easily. <laughs> I wish. Writing isn't only about the number of words, Neil. It requires things outside the mere word count. If we only judged writers by their ability to write a large amount of numbers, then we wouldn't have poetry or short stories. Ah, that is pretty hard to understand, but we learned beforehand uh, that art is a difficult matter, even for earthlings. Yeah. Earthlings seem to have a fascination for things such as hard so, things which are hard to understand, from language to arts. Write again. But you're not that wrong about writing, you know. Uh, word count is one of the few things you objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing, though, but it's still up there. So it is still a valid parameter. Definitely. Cool. That didn't sound at all like you, Neil. I guess you really aren't learning something on Earth. Oh, another guest. Yeah, I wonder if the Men in Black guy shows up too. Neil's gonna have fit right in at Coachella. Hey, Moni Lou, how you doing, Moni Lou? I just got this game excited for part two. Oh, very good, I'm so excited. Yeah, I know, part two, very, very soon. Coming very, very soon. Good evening, Myrtle. I won't even ask. Who's making the drinks? I'm still the responsible one for that. Good. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. So I'm assuming coffee with a little bit of ginger. Jahi Tabruk. Your order is ready. Not bad. Thanks. You're welcome. What brings you here today, Miss Myrtle? It's Neil, some people come to the coffee shop just to sit without being disturbed. Oh, that definitely seems to fit Miss Myrtle visits here. Actually, I'm not here to just sit without being disturbed. Huh? Pardon us? I was just training Neil on how to talk with the customer here. I can see that. You're still trying to get laid. <laughs> uh, oh, no, we are not. Uh, we are tasked with learning how earthlings communicate with each other. Yeah, that's a step in the right direction. One suggestion, one suggestion, if you want to blend in with us, stop using such formal language. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen, which essentially is not really listening at all. That could be very difficult to achieve, but we will try. Stop step by step. One small step for you, I guess. Might be one giant leap for your kind. That was nicely said, Miss Freya. By the way, Miss Myrtle, now that we know you are not here for your usual activity, are you here for someone then? Yeah. Oh, is it Aqua? Uh-huh. What's the occasion? No special occasion, it's just... Oh. I'm sorry, I'm late. I was supposed to leave early, but... Oh. Uh, wh what is this? Uh, what is happening here? Is already... I told you that the barista... What the frick? <laughs> I already told you the barista to call the cops when he's... When he said he was going to breed here. Close enough. Where's Cans? Miss Aqua, please relax. I'm here. Oh, you're safe. Yes, everything is safe. Oh, okay, all right. Please, let me take a breath. Here, please drink this water. Feeling better now? Yes, I'm sorry. It is all right, Miss Aqua. Everyone has been surprised to see me here. What are you doing here anyway? We are starting to think that we might need to make a re reoccurring, wait, sorry, recording for the answer to, wait a sec. We might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for our break. Anyway, so here is the deal. 
Oh my god. That's really interesting. Yeah, very nice of you to do this, Scans. It's nothing really. But do you really think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. Uh, but we do not want to disturb this place's business for any longer. As if this place cares about your business. Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. This coffee shop is a good start. But we cannot limit ourselves to just this place. Where do you want to go after this? Coachella. <laughs> what? What are you going to do at Coachella? According to our research, there are many breedings happening during Coachella. Oh my god. I'm going to call it Coachella. Because it obviously is referencing Coachella. That is why we decided that the event will be our next target. You're not wrong, but didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Yes, we noticed that. But we also noticed that we need to know a lot more about Earthlings, including the breeding manners. That is what we will study in Coachella. After that, we will be very ready to breed with so many female Earthlings. I shouldn't say this, but hell, that sounds like the best plan you've had since you've got here. We know. We also surprised ourselves. But please, Miss Freya, let us stop talking about our plan. We work here. We work hard. We work here today. First, let us return to our spot behind the bar. So, our discussion with Miss Myrtle was stopped abruptly? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, what were you two talking, doing together again? It's nothing. We're just friends, you know. We just want to hang out and talk about our work. We both work in the same field, remember? Ah, uh, yes, 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 that's it. Uh, we don't have that much experience in game development, you see. I thought your research was in computer graphics. Yes, but I've never made a game from scratch before. I always, I was always a bystander, so I've been asking Myrtle for feedback from time to time. Today I wanted to thank her directly, but she arrived first, so I couldn't buy her a drink. Never mind that. I'd refuse it anyway. But wait, if you want to thank her directly, does it mean you're does it mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya. It should be your, not your. <laughs> oh, so you are correcting my grammar now, huh? You must be, uh... Never mind. It was a slip of the tongue, okay? I'm sorry. How did you even pick up on that anyway? It's not like I'm saying what I'm saying is written down anywhere. We just know. Back to you, Aqua. So, you're done with your game there's quite a lot of things i need to polish and fix but players can enjoy the experience from start to finish what kind of feedback do you give people for a video game that depends on the game but in aqua's case most of my advice was about the pace and control and the ui and effects ui effects right ui i don't know i think ux is that effects ui effects ufx ux is effects maybe it must be fun to have finished working on your creation. It surely removed some of the weight on my chest. Just to replace it with another weight? You mean there's still more to come after you're done? Well, I'm not done with my book. I'm just... I just lost my job. Did you confirm that? Now, if you can't finish this draft on time, I'm done. And even after all that, if it doesn't sell well, I'm even more done. Doubly done. I'm sorry to hear that, Freya. But please, be more confident. Hmm. I'm even starting to doubt myself. I read some of your short stories, you know. After our first meeting, I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app. And then I read some of the stuff you wrote. And they're, not really, they're really good, you know. Some of them are better than others. But it's still an enjoyable experience to read them. So I'm excited to check out your book once it's all done. You're too kind, Aqua. Uh, what, you're going th what you're going through is more or less the same as what Myrtle's going through. So I'm sure you'll both be fine. <sighs> you don't have to talk about it in front of other people. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just that sharing is caring, you know? Okay. Well, thank you for helping me share it with other people, I guess. I really am sorry. I know I said thanks already, right? But you put so much emphasis on share. That's sarcasm, I know that. Hmm, Aqua. I'm sorry if it sounded that way, but yeah, I kind of get what you're dealing with. Uh, although, it's a bit different for me. What's your problem? Burnout? 
I've been uh, working on something for two years straight, but no one outside the office knows about it. And those who do don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Well, yes, I don't really work on them. Uh, not directly, of course. So what do you work on? A secret project? I'll tell you under friend in, oh, I see. I will tell you under friend uh, DA, friend DA, basically NDAs. All right, but I'm not with, I'm not with the paper anymore. Anyway, I'm part of a special team. Uh, we're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for a new IP, or worst case, another FMC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream job for someone, for some people? Uh, yeah, I guess that's what I thought at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you cannot publish anything you write for years. That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. My team has been making pitches, dozens of them, hundreds, thousands. Out of all the countless pitches, only a handful got approved for prototyping. And so far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Huh. There's only seven of us on the team. The seven samurai, that's what they said. So you haven't realized or released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works to support others when they're going through a crunch cycle. They need to hit a almost impossible target. We jump in. Well, no wonder you folks were considered the seven samurai. I guess, yeah. That actually is true in the gaming uh, develop in the gaming development world, especially with a bunch of uh, a bunch of tr uh, AAA titles. When they have to meet such a crunch deadline, they'll start picking and choosing other developers around the world and just grab people and throw them on the project just to get the job done faster. So you can just imagine, like, imagine working on a project for so long and they're like, crap. We can't get it done in a month, so we got to go get some other people that we have no chemistry with, people that we don't even know, come and invite them to work on our project, right? You can see where game development can definitely get kind of poor quality uh, because not everybody is in the same chemistry or the same wavelength, if you know what I mean. It's kind of just like a pick-me-up job, right? <clears throat> hey, Missy, how you doing, Missy? Hey, Keisha, how you doing, Keisha? What's going on? By the way, Myrtle, I just realized, what? Usually developers get their vacation time after finishing a project, right? More or less, I guess. When was the last time you had a vacation? Before I joined this company, I guess. Uh, that's like four years ago, right? Yeah. Dude, no wonder you're so burned out. Yeah, that's why. You need a vacation. But I can't just take one. You can. In fact, you will do it tomorrow. But tomorrow is... I'm not done yet. You will take tomorrow, the day after, and another day after off. But where should I go? Don't worry. I'll take care of that. You will? I'm going with you for this long weekend slash vacation. What about Max West? That's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Right? Hey. Okay. You know what? But I can't do it tomorrow. Uh, how about starting Friday? It's still a long weekend getaway, right? Mm, yeah, all right. Oh, okay. Well, I'm so excited. Wow. All right, Aqua. You look a, you look like a different person. Really? I'm so sorry. Don't be. Okay, it's settled then. I need to go home now. And prepare for a getaway. I'll come with you. To my apartment? No, we'll walk together to the bus stop, just like last time. Oh, okay then. Everyone, see you next week. Okay, have fun. Hey, Spicy Fairy, how you doing? Thank you for the super chat. When is the next Fable Dumb stream? Um, probably no, not anywhere near. Uh, no, no near time for Fable Dumb. Only because we did just about everything that you can in that game. Uh, we have to like wait for content pushes. We gotta wait for a lot of things to kind of be pushed out. Um, for that game content wise because we did just about everything in that game and then we were waiting for a lot of other um, balancing issues that need to be taken because I saw that there was a lot of bug issues when it came to certain buildings and not working properly that they they fixed it today there was a couple of patches today where they fixed some buildings but th there is some other known bugs and things like that
Take care. May you find may you find joy during your vacation, Neil says. Okay, see you folks later. Hmm. Vacation, huh? You definitely need one, Freya. I know, but not now. I've got to finish this draft first. As we have said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Anyway, are you going to close anytime soon? Depends. Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. Then please take your time. You sure? Do you want another drink to be uh, going on with? Still on the house, right? I definitely won't say no. On the house, have a nice drink. Midsummer midnight, midsummer night's dream. Sweet and memorable, like summertime blues. <laughs> Friday, October 2nd. New healthier fury sedative might be available sooner. Action video game Rising Hell blamed for violence in school. The Evening Whisperers is with the people for stricter gun laws. Welcome. Good evening, Mr. Baileys. Evening. Am I the first customer tonight? You are. Well, that's new. Freya's late here. She said she's coming later tonight. But I got something to do with meeting some fellow writer friends. Why not do it here? It's her favorite place, right? Her friends have visited this place from time to time, not just as much as her. Writer's gathering, huh? I wonder what writers talk about when they're hanging out. I've known them for some years now. She has this habit, you know? Uh, if she said they're friends, uh, it means they're just hanging out normally. But if she said they were writer friends, they're probably talking about work. Either giving each other feedback on their latest drafts or sharing and validating ideas. Interesting. They even use code words for meeting up. Oh, it's not like that. She doesn't even realize that's what she says. I just picked up on it. It's even more interesting. Are you always so observant? It's part of the job. Why is that? People come here every day. Some of them aren't as talkative as others, but their body language can be loud and be clear. It can tell you a lot of things, whether they need a friendly ear or just want to be alone. It applies to what they're ordering as well, because you know, sometimes what people want is not what people need. That's deeper than I would have thought. So, what are you reading from, from me now? I won't say. Why? That would break the charm. <laughs> the hell was that? Well, I guess I can I can say this much. Uh, whatever I say or do to our customers, it's always related to what I'm getting from their body language, including our interaction now. Well, including our interaction now. Man, now I see why you didn't want to share. Even that was enough to make me feel like I'm naked in front of you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything. What are you having tonight? Hot chocolate with ginger and cinnamon. I heard that's a good drink. Okay. Chocolate, ginger, cinnamon, brew. Chocolate, ginger, and cinnamon. Bitter heart. Oh, I love it. I love it. Hey, Taylor. Taylor says, hey, kids. First time catching a live stream. Love all your videos. I appreciate it, Taylor. How you doing, Taylor? Good to see you. Welcome, man. Here you go. You're a pretty romantic person, huh? Spending extra time decorating this drink, only for special people and special drinks, I guess. Say cans. Tell me about yourself. What do you want? Or what do you want to know? Anything, really. How old are you? Old enough to open a coffee shop? <laughs> Man, I guess I should say sorry for asking that. It's all right. But that's the only answer I can give you. Now you're making me wonder. What should I ask next? Ask next. Ask next. Oh my god, what's wrong with you? She's beat. Hello, everyone. Why are you both looking at me like that? Freya, you look horrible. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to echo our dear barista here. Yeah, you do. What happened? You better be asking what didn't happen. 
because the answer would be proper sleep and decent progress on my draft. You need to rest and miss my deadline? Well, hell no. Sorry, Baileys. I won't be able to keep your you company because I have to finish this thing. And for that, I'll need a whole hell of a lot of espresso. Are you sure about that? You really should just rest. Get something to help you sleep, yeah? Espresso, please. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Right up. Hope you're having a good stream. Yeah, I am having a good stream. I am. You'll be working and listening. You'll be working and lurking. And possibly smirking. I don't want to do this. You really need to have a rest, Freya. Just give me the damn espresso. Okay. <sighs> this will keep me from falling asleep. How was the meeting? It was pretty good. I got a lot of good advice, but that also means things. And not a small number of them, mind you. Need to be rewritten. Oh. It's not that bad. Rewriting is part of the process. It's just that... It's just... I'm going to... I'm going to my usual corner. Thanks for your coffee. And I might make it through the night now. She looks horrible. She does. But don't worry about her. She'll finish it. This isn't the first time she's acted like this, yeah? No. But this time, the stakes are pretty high. Hmm. So, uh, what brings you here today? I'm not even sure myself. Oh god, I didn't even read the, ra the rest of that. And this place just came to mind out of the blue. I'll have to thank your subconscious then. I guess you should. Oh, oh dude, is it gonna be Lua? Fuck! Uh, yeah! Hey Jackson, how you doing Jackson? <sighs> Should've slipped a melatonin in her espresso. This is where it's going to get juicy here, isn't it? Not sure whether I should thank it or not, though. Hi, Lua. Hi, Baileys. How? How? You first. No, no, you first. I was just going to ask, how are you doing? I'm, th I'm fine, thanks. How about you? I'm good, yeah. I think I need to order something first. Oh, oh, yeah, of course. Go ahead. Go for it. I can't. What are you having this evening, Miss Lua? Gingerbread coffee, please. Coffee, cinnamon, honey? I don't know what's in gingerbread. Coffee, coffee, cinnamon, cinnamon? Gingerbread is mostly cinnamon, right? Oh, is it ginger? Coffee, ginger, cinnamon? Oh, I didn't see so ginger. I guess ginger, gingerbread, right? Is ginger, and, is, is ginger, is ginger an actual ingredient in gingerbread? Probably, right? Somebody needs to confirm this. Ginger is in gingerbread? Oh my god. <laughs> I, so, I think of gin So gingerbread is gin can't deal with myself here it is thank you my grandma used to make this drink for me it reminds me so much of her it reminds me of when I was growing up with my family of course how's work it's going pretty okay you I'm not taking any new jobs at the moment because well you know I get it I, you have enough in your savings right 
That's a very Lua thing to ask, but yeah, I do. Thanks to that last annoying job. It went well in the end. It's... I know. What I said... Ginger and gingerbread. It's like saying, is there pumpkin in pumpkin bread? Yeah. Probably. Maybe. Is there pumpkin in pumpkin bread? <laughs> it makes too much sense for me to understand. Kinda did. They paid me on time, at least. And the pay was amazing. How long are you planning to take a break for? I don't know. Until my problems are settled, I guess. And what problems are those? I'll tell you this. But don't tell anyone, okay? Not even Cans, who's standing right here in front of us? Not even Cans. Okay. So there's this girl. I love her. We've been going out for a few years. I'm not really sure where we stand now. How can you not be sure? We had an argument about a week ago. It wasn't anything new, but somehow things escalated uncontrollably. Why is that? I assume both of us were just tired, knowing that we're fighting against centuries of tradition. We haven't really talked since our last fight. Leaving things unresolved is not a good idea, but I can't bring myself to start the conversation. Why? Even I'm not sure about that. Pride, maybe? Or tiredness? Or knowing that, chances are, we won't be able to find the best solution for everyone anyway. Bailey's? I have a question. Go ahead. What do you think she's feeling right now? To be honest, I don't know. She's not like me, that's for sure. Thankfully. Why? At least it won't affect her professional life that much. I'm glad I'm a freelancer. It means I can just take a break from work without so many problems. I'm not as a professional as her, you see. I think you're wrong. Really? If I were her, I would find it difficult to live life as usual. But I put it on a lot of ma but I put on a lot of masks just to hide the feelings I was going through. It sounds difficult and uncomfortable. It is. But a friend told me once, you gotta do what you gotta do. He must be a pretty cool guy. He is. Okay. You guys just need it. You gotta, you gotta work it out. Okay? Uh, look. You gotta work it out. Okay? Okay? He loves you. He loves you. Don't be so stubborn. He loves you. You, my man, you need to just like, you need to back it up a little bit, all right? You understand? Because she's got feelings too, you know. I met some new people this week. Including that supermodel? You knew? That girl in the cor corner told me. Yeah, including that supermodel. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Like a fool. What? He said a lot of things that I've been trying to avoid thinking about. A lot of truths. He's a bit like you, you know. Attitude-wise. You get along with him. Doubt it. Opposites attract, but similarity breeds contempt. Ever heard that before? A lot. <laughs> From a certain hipster elf. <laughs> and after listening to that guy, what's your stance on? Uh, you know. Us? I'm not sure, Baileys. What about you, yourself? Had any similar experiences this week? I have, in fact. You met a vampire, and I met a werewolf. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds, indeed? What did your werewolf say? Hmm. Not much, to be honest. Uh, but he made a good point about the importance of family. Bailey's. I know I have been stubborn about you wanting to wanting make to. I know I've been stubborn about you wanting me to make peace with my family, and I know why that's very important for you. But Freya said something that kind of hit me hard. What was it? I was just using you as an excuse to escape my family when I actually want to do that anyway for myself. 
You know me, Baileys. I do. And you know how I feel uncomfortable with people leaving their families, which makes me an asshole, I guess. I get what, why you think that way. Blood is thicker than water. What should we do? Lua? Yes, Baileys? Please let me leave my family. I'll try to get your family to accept me. That sounds like the easier thing to do after all. But you'll lose your immortality. You'll be an outcast among other elves. An outcast from a bunch of overly pretentious people sounds great to me. You'll live a long time. But you won't have the perfect health and perfect life that's the elven privilege. Not eleven, the elven. Yeah. Hey Anna, Anna says, first time catching a live, been watching your videos on repeat lately. So happy to finally be here. Oh, very good. Big shout out to you. How you doing, Anna? Good to see you. But it's not perfect life without you. What if our relationship doesn't last? You have lost everything. You'll blame me. Lua, I will never blame you for anything. If we're talking about who I used to be, that guy would never have blamed himself. A hundred reasons for why something failed, but never anything to do with him. But that, will, that won't happen with us. You know why? Because I have learned so many things by being with you for 10 years. It made me a better person. So, you don't need to worry about any of that. Because right now, you're the most important part of my life. I don't need an immortal life. Because without you, it won't be a life worth living. Haley's, I... I believe in you. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah! See? Yeah, yeah! I was in the middle of that. I did that. You see me? Forehead. Right there. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. I feel like we're living in a soap opera. It seems so. So what's our plan? Tomorrow's Saturday. Are we going on a date? I'm going to my parents' place. Oh. You want to go with me? And I want you to come with me. There you go. What? I, that's so sudden. Did you already have plans for tomorrow? Uh, well, no. It's just, I, I'm not prepared to beat them. You'll be fine. You don't want to tell them about this first? It'll be alright. Well, they never forbade you from dating other races. They're not big fans of elves. That much is true. But you can prove them wrong. Hmm. Okay, this could be a good first step then. It is. It's set then. I don't know what will happen tomorrow, but we can think about it. A anything else? Later. I'm with you on that. So, does that mean you don't mind me? I had my doubts, but now I'm sure. I can trust you. Lua, thank you. Are you still staying at Farron's house? Yeah. You're staying with me tonight. Oh, woo. Woo. Huh? What about your roommate? She's away for the weekend. <laughs> they get a long weekend and get away until Sunday night. Fate is in our side, it seems. Hey, Cans. Yeah? We're leaving. Thank you so much for keeping up with us in this past week. The pleasure was mine. We're off then. See you. Thank you for coming. No, thank you for coming. That is a happy ending. Yeah. Meeting the parents is daunting for any race. Facts. Ever you ever met the Fockers? That was pretty intense. Oh, you're back in the real world. I just pretend not to notice. They're like one of the main reasons why I'm writing this story. So I just see their struggle through till the end. It's important for the writing, you know. That's cold. What? No, it's not like that. It's just that... Yeah, that was cold. I'm sorry. You look better than before, though. For now. Well, I can't tell you how I feel until it's done. And I don't... Sir? May I help you? Ah! 
Whoa! Hey, right, get over here. This wolf. Is that he is that him? I I don't know. I think so. Welcome, sir. Are you crazy? You can't treat a werewolf in a fury like a normal customer. Trust me, he must have his reasons for coming here. You can relax, sir. Do you need anything? Uh, something to calm you down, maybe? Uh, right. What was it again? It was the... We have it. No, no, no. Check. The man won't let me open my ingredients. Oh, shoot. What was it again? I forgot. Tea, milk, and ginger. Okay, tea, milk, and ginger. Tea, milk, ginger. Send it. My God. His order was ah! Mental note. Here's your drink, sir. What the hell? Is that really him? After seeing the reaction to the drink, 100%. Well, whoever he is. This place survived. Thankfully, yes. But I think I need to close up shop early. Uh, I don't want to cause any more ruckus. And I need to clean up some of this mess anyways. Good idea. Can you get back all right by yourself? I'll manage. Take care of your, take care on your way back. You be careful too. See you tomorrow. Spiced lady. Love it. <laughs> a British? You're telling me a British is a spiced lady? Huh? Is that what you're telling me? A British is a spiced lady? Huh? There's a part of the world I don't know about, is there? Saturday. Weirdstein Company criticized for unfair uh, depictions of werewolf in their latest box office hit. Coachella do's and don'ts. Atlantic ambassador in talks with fire regarding immigration. Hey, Aunt, Aunt Captain, how you doing? What's going on? Spice lady equal chocolate cinnamon milk? Good evening, Freya. She looks all torn up again. When was the last time you slept? I still slept like sleep like a normal person, you know. I slept for like six hours last night. No, I slept for six hours this week. That's not healthy. Get some rest, really. I can't. Uh, whoops. <laughs> That's stupid. Oh, shut up. So what's your plan now? Now, as in right at this moment, I'm planning to go to the bathroom and wash my face. I need to make sure I don't look like a dead woman walking. And after that, I'll continue writing. Freya, oh well. You know where the bathroom is. She needs to get hit with that uh, espresso. I need something to drink now. Freya, you're unemployed. Don't waste your money on coffee shop drinks. That is so weird, coming from the coffee shop owner. I know. You've been a regular for years. If you only need the vibes of this place, just right here. No, I can't do that. Uh, you don't have any customers tonight. Uh, what would I do if this place went bankrupt? It won't happen. How can you be so sure? Just take this tap water and go and go do your work, okay? So we tell her, don't spend your money. And then we tell her we're not going to go bankrupt. Why don't you just give her a free drink then? But. See, there's a customer coming right now. So don't worry about me. Oh, my good man. Oh, Gala. Hi, Gala. He's embarrassed for what he did. What's wrong? I know you're a man of few words, but this is maybe pushing it a bit. Freya, Cans, I'm truly very sorry for what happened yesterday. Gala, it's alright. No one got hurt, right? And the coffee shop's fine. Don't think about it too much, Gala. 
like Freya said, no casualties, no problems with the coffee shop. I still need to redeem myself for the mess I made and the scare I gave you. I'm sure there's something I can do. Why don't you buy something for the lady here? I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Hey, what do you do me? What do you mean? Do you want anything to drink, Freya? No, it's all right, Gala. I insist. You don't have to. Please accept it. At least it'll help me to stop feeling so guilty at a little. All right, all right. I wouldn't mind a coffee. Not an espresso, mind you. Just something with a little less of a kick. You know, how to make sugar. You know how to make sugar and spice? The one with the cinnamon? Yes. A cup of sugar and spice, please. I'm assuming just... Coffee... Cinnamon, cinnamon? Yeah? Feel like the Spice Lady is referenced to the Spice Girls? <laughs> Try to do coffee, cinnamon, cinnamon? A cup of sugar and spice, please. Unless she's mean chocolate. Unless she means chocolate? Bitter heart, chocolate, gin maybe chocolate, ginger, and cinnamon. Coffee, honey, and cinnamon. Oh, I guess sugar, yeah. Coffee, honey, and cinnamon. Right? Sugar and spice. There you go. Sugar and spice for the lady with the vice. <laughs> Vices. Hey. Oh well, I won't complain. Thank you, Gala. Don't mention it. Gans, are you sure there's something I can do for you? You don't have to do anything, Gala. It's fine. But to be honest, I'm curious. What happened yesterday? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, you usually stay indoors during the full moon, don't you? I usually do. But there was an emergency at the hospital yesterday. What kind of emergency? Hmm. The hospital was really packed yesterday. After that announcement? Announcement? The one saying that a replacement government-issued Fury uh, sedative will be available soon? Releasing the news on the day of the full moon was just stupid. So many restless werewolves came, asking about the sedative, which isn't ready yet. But the announcement said it wasn't ready? That Just that it was coming soon? You think people who read the whole article? They, they only saw the headline or glanced at it at the news still. I feel you on that. Then they went straight to the hospital. I don't blame them though. Finding out that uh, the only public, uh, publicly available sedative is dangerous. It's difficult for some people. I ended up having to explain it to dozens of werewolves. I even had to put some rogue were werewolves in the isolation rooms. It was that bad? Yeah. To the point that we ran out of rooms to put them in. That's why I end my shift and I left immediately. Normally, I, I'd have asked a friend to lock me in one of the isolation rooms, of course, but I couldn't, so I rushed right back to my apartment. But it was too late. Thankfully, I was in the area, and I managed to force myself to come to your place. Gala, excuse me for asking, yeah? But uh, you didn't hurt anyone on the way here, right? As far as I remember, no. And I didn't see any blood on my clothes. That's good to hear. And this might sound overly confident, considering what happened yesterday, but I have enough to control to make sure I don't hurt anyone, as long as I have something to direct my fury towards. Usually, I end up destroying uh, stuff around me. Or worst case, hurting myself. Uh-oh. Despite all of that, I'm so glad that no one got hurt. Always looking for the positive side, aren't you? Just doing my job. Well, thanks to the both of you. I really mean it. But please, if there's anything I can do to pay both, I mean, if there's anything I can do to help, please don't hesitate to ask right away. Will do. In the meantime, can I order a drink? Sure, what would you be having? The same as yesterday. Um, tea, milk, ginger. Tea, milk, Got it. Hmm. 
Here's your special brew. Thank you. The drink that saved me. Once again, thank you. That's the wrong one. No, that's the right one, right? Hey, Litma, how you doing, Litma? Just got here, so not sure what's going on. Is this a storytelling? Yeah, this is a story game. Storytelling game, for sure, yeah. For helping me uh, find this drink. By the way, Gala, now that you can be 100% sure that that drink is your natural sedative, why don't you put some in a bottle and carry it with you everywhere? That's the plan. It has to be warm, though. I can use a vacuum flask, I suppose. I'll give it a try on the next full moon. Don't worry, Freya. I'm going to stay at my place for the next full moon, too. I'm not taking any risks. Before I can make sure how effective that remedy is. Whew. Oh, you typed the wrong one. Oh, you see. Okay. What the? Oh, Rachel. Oh, Rachel, what's going on? <laughs> what else? Your father. Of course. What the hell was he thinking? Coming backstage at Coachella, at Coachella just to get into an argument with my manager. Huh? Before we continue, cans, a cafe latte, please. Sure, dude. I'll, I'll do that for you. I just... I'm gonna be honest with you. I kind of forgot how to do that. Okay, coffee, milk, milk. Got it. There you go. Got you, girl. Yeah, the wolf was the guy, yeah. Your cafe latte is ready. Thanks. How did he manage to get backstage? He told security he was my father, and he messaged me about coming beforehand. Said he was just going to wish me luck. So I told him told them to let him in, of course. He's still my father. Things worked nice at first. Then my manager came, and... Uh, well, I don't know why he hates him so much. It's it's showbiz. It's mature enough to sh know what's going, what's good or bad for me. I'm mature enough to know what's good or bad for me. What happened after that? Mr. Lester told the security guards to kick him out. He's still allowed in the festival area. I saw him in the crowds. The concert go well, at least. <laughs> oh yeah. Other than the argument backstage, everything was great. I was the first one to play on the main stage. Usually no one pays much attention to whoever's on first, but there were thousands of people in the audience during my session. Nice. So you don't need to be at the event anymore after this, right? Not really. I did my stage time. And then there was this press conference after my show. After show press conference? Yeah, the pre-show was done yesterday. Today was a small one. There were almost a dozen journalists, journalists who wanted to interview me. So we decided to just do a mini conference. Good for you. You're totally back in the game, huh? I guess I am. Thanks to Mr. Lester. I would say it's because of you, but your manager's prob probably prob probably worked some of his influence too. <laughs> so why are you here? Uh, because of dad, of course. I told him to come here this evening. Uh, we really need to set things straight. He needs to stop messing with my manager so much. And because this evening is the only time we can meet. I can't go to the party Mr. Lester is hosting. What party? He's hosting a party for the VIPs and artists he manages. At a club in Bell in Belltown. Is it okay for you to go to the party without a guardian? I'm 18, remember? I'm an adult. Yeah, but you can only enter some clubs if you're 21. Not this time, because Mr. Lester is my manager and it's his party. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. It's true. No, I know you can do that, but using his name? I don't think he should do that with you. Why? I'm an adult. No, you're not, Rachel. Have you ever been to one of Lester's parties? Well, no. You have? Not personally. I've heard stories, though. What stories? He knows how to party. That's good then. Mm, not necessarily a good thing. Knowing how to party might mean something else entirely. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You'll find out, especially if you keep Lester on as your manager. Personally, I don't mind wild parties, but inviting an underage person to his party, uh, that might be a bit too far. Well, uh, oh, oh, it's her dad. Hendry. The cat has a black eye. 
What the hell? Oh no, Dad! What the? Rachel, is that your? Is that Mr. Hendry? Yes. Dad, what happened? Kents, can you get a cup of milk for him, please? Just milk. Just milk. Meow. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm coming up. I'm coming. Don't worry. I'm coming. Here you go. Thank you. Dad, please hold on. Can somebody help me call an ambulance, please? They're on the way. I've contacted the hospital. Thank you. I've also contacted our Nico Mimi expert personally. She's off shift right now, but she's also are on the way. Thank you so much. I don't know what might have happened without your help. Don't mention it. Here they come. I'll go with you. Okay. Wham. Yeah, where's Georgie? <laughs> oh boy. That was really something, huh? Yeah. Two days in a row, I guess. An emergency at your place. But well, at least some people think of your place as their go-to when they need help. You're right. It's not every day you look at things from the bright side. <laughs> well, I'm on. I'm one of your coffee shop disciples, right? So I kind of understand them. I hope Hendry's all right, though. Me too. At least he's in good hands now. What's your plan for the rest of the night? Well, that was all pretty hectic. But I need to continue writing. Take your time and place them. That will do. Ambulance called the vet. <laughs> the Grinch. Green, spicy, and not everyone's cup of tea. Love it. Love it. Whew. Nice. Hang on a sec. Time out. Give me half a second. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Police raid on private Coachella's after party is biggest drug and sex related bust of the year. Fight broke out during Coachella's culprits in police custody, and despite the arrest, Coachella will go on. Do you know if these are real life drinks? I don't. I'm not a very much of a coffee connoisseur. I don't know all the all the lingo or all the logistics with the coffees. Hey Pop. Good evening everyone. Everyone's safe and sound tonight so far, yeah. So far, so good, officer. But the cop who's supposed to be watching this area hanging out in a coffee shop? I'm not so sure about that. Hey, I'm working right now. I just love multitasking, you know? That requires skill. Taking a break and working at the same time, you mean? You know it. That's an oxymoron, actually. That's why I said it requires skill. Anyway, Cans, I really need an espresso to keep me awake tonight. I got you. No problem. Oh. <laughs> You and your sense of humor, yeah? Your espressos are always out of this world. Definitely better than mine or my wife's. It's not a competition, officer. <laughs> it is for her, though. She thought it, if she could make a better one, I'd stop coming to this place so often. That's not happening anytime soon. So anything special today? Surprisingly, no. Gotta make sure this place is safe, though. Uh, what are you grinning? What are you grinning at? I mean it. You were here the last two days, right? Yes, I was. And some crazy things happened here. And two days in a row. As if the gods were trying to give me first-hand experience to use in my story. Still fretting over your story, eh? Well, the deadline for my draft is getting nearer. Oh, yeah? How's it going? Quantity-wise, uh, it's shaping up pretty well. Quality-wise, honestly, I'm pretty confident. Best of luck, then. Do you have any updates about the last two days of chaos? For the werewolf case, I spoke to the Gala about it. What? Are you going to arrest him? Some officers at the precinct were talking about it. 
but in the end, we agreed not to do it because he really helped a lot that night. We asked the folks in the hospital and some other people in the area. Without him, we'd have a lot more problems. He helped a lot, getting most of the werewolves safe in the hospital. Too bad he couldn't lock himself up in time, though. Thankfully, he didn't hurt anyone. So those who'd rather date... Wait, what the heck did that say? Can't do anything anyway. I'd be pretty mad at you if they did arrest him. Hey, being mad at me wouldn't solve anything. I know. What about Rachel's dad? Any idea what happened? I'm not too sure myself. Most of it didn't happen around here. What? Yeah, it seems like it happened out near Coachella. That's a long way away. I mean, it's not actually that far, but he wouldn't be able to walk. Uh, so far, it's that's all I know. Oh, Rachel. Rachel. Rachel, is Mr. Hendry all right? Before that, uh, could I have a cup of hot chocolate? Dark. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. No. Nope. Yes. Dark chocolate. It's a cat that wants dark chocolate. Your hot chocolate ready. Thank you. Dad's going to be fine. He woke up this afternoon. Thanks to Mr. Gala. He got help fast enough to stop things getting worse, though. He's he's doing okay then, yeah? yeah it'll take a few days before the, he fully recovers. But no permanent injuries we need to worry about. That's good to hear. I know. But still, it's all because of me, because I didn't listen to him, when all he wanted to do was protect me. Rachel, don't blame yourself for this. Please don't take offense, but is it okay for you to leave your father alone in the hospital? His friends are there at the moment, and I can't face being stuck in a room with a bunch of people I don't even know right now. Besides, I really needed to get away for a bit, so I told Dad I'm going to visit... So I told dad I'm going to visit Coffee Talk to get some fresh air. They said the name of the game in the game. He's okay with that, yeah? He understands. He always does, I guess. Miss Rachel, what really happened last night? Dad got into a fight with some thugs. He heard them talking about me in some very suggestive, pervertive ways. Oh, he didn't like that, of course. So he morphed into his cat form and he started a fight with the thugs. Why did he morph? And so people wouldn't see what his human form looked like and link him directly to me. Some cops went to the crime scene. They found some eyewitnesses to testify and they managed to find the thugs. Are they fans of yours? No, it's even worse. They work for Mr. Lester. What? Oh boy. Now the reason why it didn't take long for the cops to find them was because they were already under arrest because the party went too far last night. Huh. How did it all connect up? Well, they're Mr. Lester's bodyguards. They were chilling after the show, having a pre-party before the big one. And you know about, you know about guys in locker room talk, right? Yeah, well, that's what they were doing. And I was the topic of discussion. So there's that. I'm sorry to hear that. And you were right about his party. I'm glad I wasn't there. Once again, I owe dad for... It's okay. The most important thing right now is that you're safe. And your dad made it through. You should have listened to him. He might, have, he might be out of touch, but he's still more experienced than me. And he's my father. I wish mom was here. She'd know what to do. She'd know what to say to dad when he's recovered, too. You know what? I'm sure you'll know what to do. You're an adult, remember? But I didn't know. All I know is I have to be there for him when. That's it. That's all you have to do. It might be weird to hear it, hear it about something coming from Freya, but she is right. Be there when he needs you, Rachel. Uh, whenever you need a breath of fresh air, you can come here and relax for a while. Guys, thank you. I've had enough fresh air for the day. I'll go back to the hospital now. Thank you for the update, Miss Rachel. 
I wish your father a speedy recovery. Thank you, Kans. Man, what a weekend. Pretty crazy, I know. Anyway, I got to I got to continue my patrol. It's been a pretty weird weekend. But overall, things are still safe around here. But even with that, never let your guard down, okay? No problem, officer. Thank you for checking up on us, Officer Georgie. Okay, then, see you. Are you going to leave us as well? I don't think so. I've had a, I have had enough. I've had enough rest, and I have some stories to write. You're not tired, definitely not. In fact, I think I can get it done today. Hmm. All right, I won't bother you then. Oh, you're never, you, you, you've ne you're never a bother. Besides, this whole book project would never have existed without this place and you. So thank you. The pleasure was mine. Now I'm sure you should, you shouldn't spend any more hours on more time on chit chat. You've got a book to finish. No problem, boss. Spanish Sahara. Spanish Sahara. I guess the place is called Coffee Talk, isn't it? Two weeks later. Ooh, this is nice. This is nice. More women have spoken out and claim Morris Lester lied. Initial reports indicate possible herpes outbreak at Coachella. Oh my god. Wait, Neil! <laughs> Neil! Coachella Festival proves to be a major boost for Seattle tourism. Oh god, Neil! Hello! You're finally here. Hey, y'all. Hey Freya, yo, how's it going? Someone's feeling happy today, of course. Did they? They approved it. We're so happy for you. Congrats, indeed. Oh my. Do you know how happy I am? Judging from your expression, I'd say somewhere between uh, aesthetically and uh, rep, rep, rapturously. Rapturously? Rapturously? What the f Anyways, you're goddamn right. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. How did they react to the draft, to be honest? They're not excited about the story itself. A story with an unhappy ending, huh? Well, that's what they said. But at this point, I don't really care. As long as they publish it. I'm confident. I'm content with that. Anyway, uh, whatever happens with the book now, I can take things a little slower. Because they gave me a year to finish it. With a feedback session every month. It sounds professional enough. Of course. They are the biggest publisher around. Enough about me, though. How's the coffee shop been doing? It's been great. We've had a lot of new customers lately. And this, again, this is two weeks later. Some old timers, of course. I heard Hyde's back from his trip uh, from Korea. Yeah. He brought us some gifts, too. He didn't get anything from me? I'm, sure not, I'm not sure, but he did say he always gives gifts directly. Gift giving the old fashioned way, huh? That's right. How about you? Things are great. The last time I saw you was before your mini break. Yes, we decided to go to Coachella. Oh, crap. Wow, uh, that event was a mess. <laughs> yeah, three hours at the festival was enough for us. So where did you go after that? Uh, we ended up in Port Townsend. How was that? I enjoyed it. Never knew a historical trip could be fun. Oh, yeah, I saw your new profile picture, Aqu Aqua. You both look so cute. Oh, baby. They got a relationship, yeah? Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. Was that taken during your vacation? No, it was at it was at Max. They had a Japanese style uh, photo booth there, so I forced her to take a picture together. You were at Max too, Myrtle? Yeah, I helped her out a bit with the booth. Yeah, thank you. You don't have to thank you have to you don't have to thank me. By the way, have any of you heard from Neil? Oh, geez, here we go. No, not me. They did send uh, two postcards to the coffee shop. Really? Yeah, one's from Coachella. That's not even that far away. Why send a postcard? Hard to tell with him. Or them, I guess. 
What about the second one? It's from New York. What? What are they doing in New York? Beats me. Working on their mission, maybe? <laughs> yeah, probably. They'd stand more of a chance there. Anyway, uh, guys, uh, we're leaving for the night. Oh, come on. So soon? Yeah. We're here for hours before you arrived. And we need to work tomorrow. Ah, oh, fair enough. All right, so take care on your way then. Yeah. Good luck with the novel too. Thanks. See you, Gans. See you around. Freya's so happy. She's living her best life. They look happier than when I first met them. They do. It's not easy to find someone who can be comfortable with. It's such a sh uh, such a short amount of time. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Oh. Sorry if it seems like I'm ignoring you, Baileys. No worries. I don't feel ignored at all. Are you by yourself tonight? No, I'm waiting for Lua. She has some work to do. This late at night? Yeah. She's been doing overtime for the past few days. How are the two of you doing? Things have been great. In fact, after 10 years together, we're finally moving in together next month. Oh, congrats. But I thought Lua lived with her flatmate. We're moving to a new place. She got promoted recently, and her company's providing her with an apartment, too. Oh my god, could you imagine working for a company that provides for your apartment? God damn. Wow, she must be really a big deal in her office. Well, she definitely earns more than me. And that's not saying much. <laughs> you shouldn't say that to a fellow freelancer. Oh, here she comes, by the way. Bailey's, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect it to take so long. I thought it would be done by... Well, honey, it's all right. Uh, Freya and Cans have been keeping me company in anyway. Oh, hey, Freya and Cans. Sorry for barging in without saying hi. How's it going? I would say things are great, but not as great as you two lovebirds. You told her already? Only about the moving in part. <laughs> as you've heard... Uh, we're going to be moving in together next month. Where is it at? Not far. I mean, the company provided the place, so they want to cut my commuting costs as much as possible. That's thoughtful of them. <laughs> it means they don't need to reimburse my taxi fees when I'm uh, working overtime. <laughs> hey, Michelle, how you doing? What's going on? Evening stream? Hey, oh, yeah, bas yeah, well, yeah, I, I guess you could say that, right? <laughs> yeah, this is just, we're still doing it. This is like the afternoon stream kind of bleeding into the evening stream, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. I didn't realize what time it was. I've been lost in the sauce with this game. Oh yeah, that too. It also means we get to visit this place more often. That's a good point. We owe we owe this coffee shop a lot anyways. Don't mention it. I have a question for both of you. Go on. The last time we met, I believe you were too, you, you were going to introduce Bailey's to your parents. How did it go? Man, her father didn't kill me at least. But at least Papa let you eat lunch with us. That's rare, you know. I know. And... At least they didn't say no, which means a lot, I guess. It was a good start. It was definitely a good start. Anyway, Baileys, uh, we need to go now, or we'll miss the intro again. You folks going somewhere? Yeah, we're going to watch the midnight screening of Full Metal Conflict. I didn't take you for someone who likes FMC, Lua. I don't, but this guy loves it. Oh, hey, you always enjoyed watching me playing the game. I enjoyed watching you, not the game. <laughs> Too bad I didn't introduce you to Myrtle just now. Uh, she worked on the game. Really? Oh, well. well. I'll be visiting this place more often. I'll probably meet her again uh, one of these days. You probably will. Now go, you lovebirds. You don't want to miss the movie. All right. Catch up with you later, Freya. It's basically, basically what we're doing is wrapping up all the stories here. Yeah. Enjoy the movie. Evening, it's two in the morning there. Oh my lord, two in the morning there. It's three in the morning there. It's only six p.m. here, six almost six thirty. I gotta, you know, it's gonna be dinner time soon over here. There they go. I'm so happy for them. They've still got a long way to go, and probably a lot of obstacles in their path, but they're moving forward. Yeah. How will you write this their story? As it is, it's beautiful enough, and it has enough drama. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Anyway, um, what's that look for? Well, you haven't told me about any of our other friends here. How are they doing? You only skipped coming for 10 days. What do you expect? Come on, they played an important part in my writing process, remember? Well, there are some updates about the regulars. Uh, tell me, tell me. Oh, 
Where should we start? Uh, boom. It's 11.30 Tuesday for you. 6.30 for the, for the Monday for me. Lua visits this place more often now that they live nearby. Oh, frick. I didn't read all that. Hyde returned from his trip to Korea and brought gifts. Some are more special than others. He said his he's considering moving back to Seattle if agency allows it. Dude, that's a handcuff. <laughs> Aqua continues her work with the university. She's still working on small indie games. The difference is she's not alone now. Oh, Neil. The only news about them are the two postcards they sent me. Oh, look at her. Rachel is back in the recording studio preparing for her first solo album. She found a new manager, someone who made the news as a legend coming back into the industry. And finally, Freya, she fin finished her book, get published and have s some signing sessions. Sadly, the book didn't sell well. She still visits regularly though. Oh, it didn't sell well. Oh, frick. <laughs> Interesting, okay. Well, I guess that's how that ends. Everybody lived their life happily ever after and she didn't sell her book very well. Yeah. It was fun though. No, yeah. The very fun story. I really enjoyed it. The characters really loved. I, I had a good time for sure. Um, it definitely makes me want to play uh, Coffee Talk 2, episode 2, the hibiscus, I think is what it is. But yeah, um, if you enjoyed this, what you saw today, please make sure to hit the like button. I would appreciate it. Um, I'll see and see if people are even interested in Coffee Talk and we'll see or not whether we bring the second episode or the sequel to the um, to the channel here in the next few days. I'll have to see. I'll have to see, but I really enjoyed myself. And if you did, make sure to hit the like. And if you're watching this in the VOD, make sure to also leave a comment down below saying, you know, you'd like to see the next episode and things like that. I had a fun time, though. Yeah, I definitely did have a fun time. <sighs> yeah. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be playing a brand new game so make sure to check out tomorrow's stream we're gonna be playing haven dock so hopefully y'all can join us for some haven dock tomorrow and uh, all that good stuff so yeah oh there's different endings is that right oh so there's different endings okay so i didn't know there's different endings to this game i wonder how can you even like is how do you how do you make the endings different is it because you have to like give them the right coffees or something that's interesting Yeah. Anyways, y'all have a wonderful night, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, and me. Wait, me. Me? Me? <gasps> Welcome. Hello, cans. Good evening, sir. Um, have we met before? I'm sure this is your first time here. Of course I've been here. In fact, I've worked here before. What? Wait. No way. Is that really you? It's been a while. You've changed. A bit too much. I've learned a lot about how to live with your people since then. I assumed it was a success then. Multiple successes. What's with the new look, then? Just trying to blend in. It seems like an earthling immigration agency is after me. Now that you mentioned it, somebody did visit this place looking for you. When was it? Not so long after your second visit here. Was he a bald guy in a suit? Yes. That fire agent. You've seen him? Yes, thankfully. I've changed my appearance since then. By the way, you can drop the act in front of me. So, you finally noticed? To think that such power can be born from our kind. You're good with your act, though. It took a few tries. 
But there are some timelines where I... Where I forgot to pretend that I don't have some knowledge of certain stuff. <laughs> Interesting. Now I'm curious to know about those mistakes. Well, it happened a few times. First, when Freya told me about her meeting in the elevator. Then, it was the first time Rachel visited this place. And the last one involved you on your second visit. Huh? Oh. And there was another one right after Freya got her draft approved. Can you show it to me? Assuming you know how I communicate with my kind. Never tried it, but let's see. You've beaten the main story of the game, but you haven't seen everything yet. Oh, baby. Anyways, thank you all for hanging out with me today. I'll see you all tomorrow with another stream and another new game. So make sure to check it out and do take care.